Uh, definitely copy that. Here we go. Here we go right here. <clears throat> so now we're finally getting there. Up in the sky. We're climbing up the altitude. We're going 250 knots. So we're going from Palm Beach International all the way to uh, Lake Pless in New York. Now, for this, uh, for this specific flight, I purposely have made sure that I have enough fuel to be able to fly up there. So I think it's just uh, freaking amazing that that you can actually do this just like in real life. All right, let me acknowledge this again. Copy Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra contact Palm Beach approach on one tree two decimal eight. My only thing is the uh the controller, I need a new yoke uh, for this. So much tur turbulence. Actually, it's true. Right now, there's a lot of rain uh, in, in Florida. Actually, no, for real. Right now, where I'm at, there's plenty of rain. Uh, the, the clouds are forming up, and so I have to really be careful how I proceed. Um, Let me contact Palm Beach on here. Palm Beach approach Cessna Alpha Sierra. Hey Jerry Seinfeld, how you doing? They gonna go a little bit higher? Alright. Alright, said they go they said go ahead. I got it. Going to one tree, two decimal, one five Cessna X ray golf Sierra. You see all the clouds up there, so I gotta truly uh, climb up as much as I can. I do, Matt, you, I do, and Jerry. <laughs> really? Look at all the uh, cloud formation, so I have to climb up. I have to climb up. I have to go a little bit higher. Um, because definitely don't want to be caught up in that formation. Because remember, we're going to New York. We're going to Lake Placid, and that's a it's a long ass uh, flight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I better be I better be careful what I say. Hey, handsome bastard, how you doing there, buddy? <laughs> I better be I better be careful what I say. And uh, the reason I went with this airplane, because this airplane truly gives you so much to... Hold on. Look at the reflection. You can see me on the reflection over there. Uh, it truly gives you the uh, as many options as possible to be able to see where you're going. Like your headings, your navigation... Um, pretty cool instruments, but there's a lot of turbulence right now in Florida, so I gotta be, I have to climb up a little bit higher, hold on, there's a lot of turbulence here, so I gotta climb up a little bit higher, here we go, oh yeah, th this airplane, it's super expensive, um, when I went to Palm Beach, uh, there's a there's a like a flight school, and my friend like works there, and and he showed me this airplane. Um, uh, this thing it's expensive. It's like in a hangar, and uh, dude, they got everything. The 
the cocktail bar, uh, uh, 24-inch screens, headphones, massage, you know, one of those massage seats, when you sit on it, it massages you, um, but it's expensive. How expensive? Uh, well, expensive. <laughs> it's classified. All right, so I climbed out. Hold on. I did climb a little bit of uh, more altitude, so let me go ahead. No, he says continue as planned. Ultimate uh, 2992, so I don't have to contact him right now. I'm good. Let me get back to the land. Um, I did have to uh, go out to the ocean a little bit. Because uh, there's so much cloud formation here right now at the moment. And the turbulence is just unforgiving. The turbulence, it's unforgiving. Okay, so I should lower my speed a little bit slightly here we go that's better uh let me tell you something matt i thought at the beginning i was wrong i thought this is maybe arcade style type of a uh, flight sim no they're really going for real deal here guys uh they're really trying to to make this simulator as as real as it can be um oh look there's another airplane right right below me you see on the radar? Even your engine, even your engine can can overheat and blow up if you don't know what you're doing. Um, uh, they're not they're not joking around, guys. They really want to make sure that this is as real as it can be. Um, and right now, what you're seeing here's a cool thing. This is where I'm at. I'm around this area here in Florida. Right now, what you're seeing, this is exactly what the weather is right now. If the pilot is flying from Florida to New York, Lake Placid, they're going to see exactly what I'm seeing out the window. Like, and and that's, that has never been done before, guys. That has never been done before. Uh, as you can see on this, hold on, let me show you, Matt, you. Uh, as you can see right here. I'm a little bit out to the uh, to the ocean. I'm not on the land because of the cloud formation. You see right here. I'm going northbound, uh, Florida. You can see the out um, the intercoastal of Florida right there. This is where all the you know wealthy people live. I mean, yeah, I mean they do. I mean it is what it is. Um, and. Uh, I'm headed north. But you see the cloud formation here is just ridiculous. Dude, and it's raining right now uh, where I'm at. Like, it's badly raining, dude. And this is crazy. I mean, this is crazy. So here's what I'm trying to say. What a real pilot sees. If, let's say, the real pilot's flying from, from my location to Lake Placid, New York, Olympic City, small town, uh, 1980s Olympics, where we beat the Soviets and the hockey team. Um, he's going to see exactly right now what I'm seeing. Anybody who's flying in Florida, where I'm at, they're going to see exactly the same formation. This is exactly real time, guys. This has never been done before. And this is all in ultra settings. <sighs> you know. Yeah, Lake Placid is amazing. Oh, dude, I, I, I grew up there. I mean, I kind of grew up there a little bit. I mean, I did go to high school there my sophomore and my junior year. And then I finished my senior down here in Florida. Isn't that funny? I went through sophomore, uh, my freshman, sophomore, and junior. And then senior, I, I finished it down here. It's crazy. And you see how, uh, when you see this red tape, uh, Matthew, every time you see a red tape, that means that uh, 
it's a connection. So we were all wrong. We thought, oh, it's, a, it's some kind of a corrupted file. People are still making the same mistake, and this is why you're never going to be able to download this game, because you're thinking it's some kind of a bug. There's no corrupted files. All right? When you see this red tape, that means the server. You're trying to connect to the server so that the Bing map can render the entire uh, world for you. And uh, there's no corrupted files. They don't exist. Microsoft has no corrupted files. It's the internet consistency, what you need. You got to have a stable internet or you got to make sure that your modem, it's not bottleneck when you are downloading this uh, this game from their server. Oh, we're going to make it happen, man. It's crazy. Uh, this is like we're going to fly throughout the entire East Coast. I mean, really, if you think about it, South Florida, all the way to Lake Placid. It's almost Canada. Like Lake Placid, it's like you're almost to the border of Canada, pretty much. So it's like the entire East Coast, bro. <laughs> so grab your coffee, grab something, and... Well, here's the thing. None of us knew that. I mean, how how were we supposed to know that that the debug C forty nine means something that has to do with the internet connection? We didn't know. We thought that hey, our internet's fine. It's probably some kind of a corrupted file. But if Microsoft would have contacted us, if Microsoft would have made a statement. Or if the team from Asobo would have said something, we would have known. But Asobo never reached out to me. Microsoft never reached out to me. Uh, none of them reached out to me. So what did I have to do? I had to do it on my own. I have to figure it out on my own for four days, four and a half days. I had to figure this out on my own. Uh, and you know, Matt, you, you've been here with me. Uh, Cameron has been here with me. You know how much I have tried to... Uh, go ahead and figure this out and i tried every single method and there's no corrupted files there's simply there's none this game has no corrupted files this is a premium deluxe edition um it's just your internet you have to have a consistency on your internet and i showcased that on the previous video with a shadow shadow has a one gigabit fiber optics internet and you see how fast that was no red tape no nothing within 25 minutes boom done by the way it runs pretty good on shadow for the realistic uh, yeah we cannot talk about that right now Matt you's here uh viper so it's just like whoosh. yeah i cannot i cannot say anything about that all i can say is photorealistic cuz uh a handsome bastard uh it's watching this <laughs> so i cannot say anything I I have to filter myself. I have no I have no uh, choice. I gotta filter myself. A, a handsome bastard is here. <laughs> you see that on on the profile picture with Matt Fritz? That's the handsome bastard, and I gotta be careful what I say. All right, we're approaching. Uh, believe it or not, this is Kennedy Space Center, right over here. Well, it's not that far. You know, the, you have to remember Palm Beach and Kennedy Space Center. You can be there, like, in about 25 minutes, honestly. <laughs> it's right over here. So we're going to get a little bit closer to the land. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go out to the land. I'm way out to the ocean. So I'm going to climb up a little bit more higher altitude. And we're going to go up inland. What I mean by land, I mean inland. 
uh, you see we're out to the ocean. Why I'm out to the ocean? Well, because of so much buildup of clouds here. There's a storm. Uh, uh, see, I, sh I need to go over here a little bit, this side. But that's okay. We're still in uh, in uh, United States soil. This is still our coast, you know, uh, U.S. coast right here. U.S. coastline. There's the Coast Guards here, pretty sure. This is a... Um, Oh my god, I forgot the name of it. Uh, G uh, something. It's it's like a taxi something G. What the hell is it? G6. Something with the G6. I'm sorry, man, that I forgot the name of it. Because it has a really long, like a really... It has a difficult name to remember. <laughs> really. <laughs> the acronyms on this airplane are really difficult to remember. Let me show you around the console a little bit. Right, so you can look at the detail. This is your radio right here. You can adjust the settings on your radio. Um, you can also adjust the temperature uh, on your airplane, which is kind of like you can pretty much adjust anything you want to adjust here. Uh, any of these buttons, but I'm not going to touch it now because I don't want to mess it up. But you can pretty much adjust. You can adjust the uh, how much of brightness would you like on the um, on these. on these panels see you can zoom in zoom out and I just zoomed in zoom out so I can see my um, my map a little bit better see Cape Canaveral we're not that far from Cape Canaveral right here so we're gonna have to go around here because this is a no-fly zone. This is Kennedy Space Center. There's the Air Force Air Base, and you're not supposed to go around uh, through here. You can go through here. There's another airplane in real time. It's right here. This is for real in real time. ATC. So we're gonna go around here because on this island, this big giant island, this is where they uh, launch a SpaceX. Uh, all the space shuttles in the past, and this is Kennedy Space Center right here, and just. Uh, west of here, it's uh, Orlando. It's uh, Disney. So Disney is just west of here. And I'm not that far from Disney, honestly. I can be in Disney like in uh, two hours a drive. If I'm driving like two hours. What's up, Joey G? This can be boring a little bit, but that's how the flying is. It is kind of. It can be boring. Some people, there was a argument, uh, well, not an argument, kind of like a discussion, debate. Um, Gamer Muscle had this uh, debate. There's a YouTuber, a uh, shout out to Gamer Muscle. He's from UK. Um, and he was having a debate with uh, his subscribers because some of his subscribers says that uh, simulators can be boring. Well, that's subjective. You know, Any, anything can be boring. You waking up in the morning can be boring. You going to the sleep at night can be boring. Um, you you being, I don't know, hungry and you got to eat can be boring. I mean, we can then, we can classify everything it's boring. Uh, so it really doesn't, that argument to me really doesn't hold any water. Uh, it's, look, flight sims are not for everyone. Not everyone's going to enjoy this. And they're not aiming this for everyone. They're aiming this for uh, really flight sims, pilots, professional pilots. And of course, for those of you who would just like to check out the scenery, look at the graphics, uh, I guess. But it's really aimed for professionals, uh, pilots. They can train right now due to this uh, due to the COVID-19, some of them are laid off. They're not fired. They're just like on the leave of absence. Uh, so... Like this one girl, uh, she's from Canada, and she got laid off. 
uh, not fired, but like, you know, leave of absence till the further notice because of, uh, you know, they're not having that many flights. And, uh, and they don't need her. So she's going to use this software. Her name is Emily. She's, gonna, uh, she's beautiful, by the way. She's going to use uh, this software. This, uh, I've I spoken to her. This simulator to actually train. Like in real, like like real time, like train, and it's crazy. What's up, Mister Urban World? Hey, uh, Mister Urban World. I have some good news for you. Shadow can run this type of graphics. I uh, check out my previous video, Mister Urban Man. I connected it to my OLED. Uh, Shadow runs this game like it's no one's business. Uh, it's perfect I mean 1080p ultra settings maxed out easy it easily runs this I use my uh, stadia controller and it runs just fine with the stadia controller man so if you want to use a shadow use a shadow and first of all using a shadow it downloads the game consistently. You're never going to see this red tape because my internet right now, it's a bit of a bottleneck because I'm live streaming and I'm collecting the data. I'm collecting the data from the Azure that's connected to the Bing satellite maps and all that to render all of this. Oh, you go take a look, man. Go take a look, bro. You're going to be blown away. Go take a look. What? The uh, the Avengers? Um, Does it get repetitive? It's kind of... I don't know if I would agree with that. I mean, to some degree, yes. But everything gets repetitive. You know, uh, Death Stranding gets repetitive. Uh, UFC can get repetitive. Um, a lot of things can get repetitive. You know what I mean? There I am right there. You can see me on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go inland. I need to go a little bit inland, like this way. I'm trying to do this professionally, I don't know. Because I don't want to just screw around. Oh, look at the Tercy. I got to be careful. I got to climb up. Look at the turbulence here. This is ridiculous. Look at the turbulence here. I got to climb up a little bit higher. And I gotta be careful what I say, because uh, handsome bastard is here. Wonderful handsome bastard is here watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shadow it really surprises me, man. Um, I'm I'm really uh, listen. If I can do all of this with a boost, imagine what I'm gonna do with the Ultra and Infinite. I really hope that the Shadow doesn't go away. I love the uh, the ability to. Not use my big computer and just kick back in my living room and in, in sofa in my sofa and use my uh, shadow. I love that, dude. I really hope that shadow doesn't go away. With infinite and ultra tier, you don't need anything. You don't even need a PlayStation Five or Xbox Series X. You're gonna be rocking the best possible internet speed, and you're gonna be rocking the best possible GPU memory ram and cpu so i really hope that the shadow please stay in business how do they stay in business we gotta support them guys just like anything else just like when you support your candidate you gotta support them that's how we stay in business that's how they stay in business they need your support so if you support them they're gonna stay in business i couldn't remember joey uh, it's, uh, and even though a friend of mine showed it to me in a hangar, it's like a G something, G6, whatever, taxi, or 
luxurious taxi sometimes <laughs> it's like a big bombardier it's a bombardier something it's one of those expensive jets that uh dwayne johnson you know uh celebrities you know beyonce and whoever all the uh all the celebrities uh they're flying with this it's a very luxurious plane thank you thank you and looks beautiful on the OLED man um, like I said I'm very uh... so if you see Mamba tell Mamba tell Mamba that he can run it on shadow and if, if he wants to come back that's fine dude I'll, I'll unblock him dude it's not a problem Mamba 45 dude I'll unlock you you don't even have to apologize to me dude just uh, do me a favor Mamba you don't have to apologize but just please don't bring it up just don't bring up, oh, you were wrong, I was right. I don't want to hear that. Not interested in that, bro. Uh, you know that you screwed up. You didn't do your job. You let the trolls come in. You let the salty crocodiles come out of the water and eat the chickens. Uh, you know you were wrong. You didn't do your job, bro. Come on. I don't want to argue. Especially when I'm flying the plane. Don't want to argue. <laughs> Yeah, it's running smoothly, yeah. So we have passed Kennedy Space Center. And here's the interesting thing. Microsoft Flight Simulator keeps track of your flight log. Just like with the real pilots. They know exactly how many hours you have put in flying. They know exactly where you've been. They know exactly the locations you visited. They keep track of everything. Like... The Azure server knows exactly where you've been, where you have flown. And that's so cool, man. This is really trying to mimic um, a real life flying, man. Now, granted, with a, with a, this is what the real pilot told me. You can't mimic, obviously, the G-Force feeling that, you know, that, that uh, what you call it, that feeling when you're dropping down. Uh, like you know, you know, you know, moving uh, the noise inside the plane. Uh, when you were moving the plane, you know, the, the whole, the whole, the whole essence it's missing, you know, because you are connected to that plane. Uh, and there's some, some, something like uh, what was the word he said? Like you are that plane and you feel everything. If something goes wrong, you know exactly something. Just like with your body, you'll know exactly something's wrong with your plane, like with your left wing uh, or your, uh, you know. So, yes, this is cool. It's it's pretty darn close to a real-life sim. But still, inside a real airplane, that's where it gets... You cannot make any mistakes, like... You gotta, it's a life and death situation. You gotta know what you're doing. You have to communicate constantly with the tower. Uh, so, in, in real life, obviously, it's, it's different. But some of the pilots whom I spoke to, they said, this is pretty darn close. They wish that they had this, this kind of a simulator. Uh, so, Kudos to, to a Sobo team because they really created something that the pilots themselves can practice. <laughs> We're approaching Jacksonville. Let's contact Jacksonville. Jacksonville Center, Cessna Alpha, Sierra X ray Golf, Sierra 14,000. Jacksonville Center, Cessna Alpha, Sierra X ray Golf, Sierra 14,700. Uh, now we're not gonna do that because uh, we're not gonna land land in Jacksonville. We're just gonna approach. We're approaching Jacksonville, as a matter of fact, which is right over here. Hold on, I just wanted to know where where we at. So we're in Jacksonville, right here. Okay. Um, 
Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go over here. Hold on. There I am. It gives you a little bit bigger, bigger map so you can see. Hold on. There we go. See, now we're going to... Ja there's Jacksonville right here. Then we're going to be hitting closer to Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Once we, uh, once we pass the Jacksonville. Um, then we're going to be getting closer to... See how quickly you can get from... From, let's say, uh, Palm Beach County to... Uh, Jacksonville. Just within, you know... But this is a very fast airplane. This is a this is a fast son of a bitch. Sorry for the language. <laughs> I forgot that the handsome bastard's watching. Really? Well, he should be drinking a coffee. You should be drinking coffee, man. But if you wash if you're a Denzel Washington, that's okay, dude. Don't worry. You can drink an alcohol if you're Denzel Washington. <laughs> yes, you will see the ocean, but you're not going to see the splash. Uh, you're not going to see the damage. All you're going to see is a black screen, dark screen. So, they don't allow people doing that kind of stuff here because of 9-11 you know because of that and they keep that in mind you know they don't want some idiots out there some there's always stupid people there's always there's always mentally not stable individuals out there you know eight billion people you're gonna have some mentally crazy deranged individuals who are gonna try to recreate that and do some something crazy like that? So therefore, they don't deny they deny you to be able to do that. So you you can you can land on the water if you got a sea uh, uh, sea airplane like uh, the one that they can land on the on the sea, like a beach airplane that can land on the sea. You can land on. Uh, on the sea yeah you can actually land on the sea but you're not gonna see yourself crash uh, you're not gonna see that look at these clouds man they're forming up so much the weather right now in the tropics especially in Florida it's pretty bad man there's rain every day. Lightning, heavy lightning, rain constantly every day. What's up, David Johansson? How you doing, man? Uh, so, Johansson, we were, we were wrong, man. There was no bug. That red tape... It's something to do with the internet and the server. It has nothing to do with the files. So we, everybody was wrong, pretty much. Uh, it's just consistency of your internet. And I've proven that yesterday. I've proven that uh, with a shadow. If you got a consistent uh, bandwidth internet speed, you're not going to have any issues. It's just the way this game is developed. It always requires for you to be online, especially with their servers because of large uh, files that you have to download. So consistency is the key. Um, welcome to millennials. No bug, uh, no bug, no bug, brother. I've been trying to pre-order that honeycomb, that that flight stick but it's always out of stock man I need to put myself on the list 
and they don't know when they're gonna have it in stock. That honeycomb, oh, that that controller. Oh my god, I need that controller so bad. By the way, Mr. Urban, use Stadia controller. Let me tell you, runs perfectly. Stadia controller runs perfectly with Shadow and this game. Oh my god, use a Stadia controller. Works perfect. I love that controller. I really love that controller. Honestly, I might get another controller of Stadia. Connected to your NVIDIA Shield, I'm using NVIDIA Shield, and use the Shadow, man, uh, to play this game. Tell Mamba he can use the Shadow, play it on the Shadow. Uh, it's going to run 1080p Ultra settings. I tested it. Runs smooth. Yes. Thank you, Viper. Sorry about that. I had to, uh, I have to accept that. Beta! Beta! Beta man, beta. He's a beta, beta male. <laughs> That's JLP man, Jesse Lee Peterson. Beta, beta, <laughs> beta, and the mama, Hoochie mama, and the father Messiah. <laughs> he calls the father Messiah. <laughs> you know who the? There's, there's, there's all these acrobats, all these different things that he's using which I like the great the great white hope the great white hope the father messiah hoochie mama big mama beta males <laughs> I love Jesse Lee Peterson I, I dude I love watching his stuff I love him he's the father I should have had beta beta slayer <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson man for president hell yeah He's the best. I love him. I know what I love him because he tells the truth. I, man, I, I yearn for people who tell the truth. I can't stand these evil deceivers and and bullshitters. You know. Hey, uh, Matthew is handsome bastard with you. I gotta be careful what I say. Sorry, handsome bastard. Salute. Sorry. I, I totally forgot. I, 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 I apologize, Matthew. I really do. I will control myself. I know what I, uh, Seriously, I want him to watch this. I don't want to say. Guys, you can say whatever you want to say, but I will not say it. I will not repeat it. <sighs> I cannot say. I got to be filtered today. Uh, I cannot trigger today. I cannot get triggered. I cannot get upset today. I cannot say any bad words today. I'm flying a handsome bastard all the way to New York <laughs> to uh, Lake Placid. <laughs> Why Lake Placid so significant? Because I, I live there. And that's where 1980s, our hockey team has beat Soviet Union. This top-of-the-line Soviet Union dream team uh, from, from hockey. Uh, that's part of the hockey, you know, like the hockey team. Like they're Russians, Soviet Union uh all-star hockey team we beat them you know thanks to the coach herb we did it there's a movie actually you should watch the movie on a disney plus uh kurt russell he plays the uh the coach it's all like based on real uh real life on what happened in 1980 uh go watch that movie called the miracle great movie man <laughs> oh, Austin Powers in, in 4? Oh, I cannot wait for that. Austin Powers? Of course. Thank you, Matt. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I'm flying to uh, from South Florida to Lake Placid, New York. Upstate New York, uh, Adirondack area, which is not far from uh, Plattsburgh. Also not far from... Uh, Canada and it's also not that far from Toronto if you're flying you can be there like in an hour like 60 minutes so we can visit Cameron D <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll see Cameron D on the roof or on the balcony or working out, lifting the weights and stuff. <laughs> Where's Cameron D? I don't, I'm sure he's going to be coming in any time. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have to climb up certain altitude because um, as you can see right here we are passing Jacksonville this is Jacksonville we're going into uh, Savannah Georgia right here Savannah Georgia we already passed South Florida we passed Palm Beach County we passed uh, Orange County Orlando, we passed uh, Kennedy Space Center, uh, Jacksonville, this is Jacksonville, the Jaguars, the hometown of Jaguars, NFL Jaguars, um, and of course, um, we're going into Georgia right now, probably Savannah, and this is how they usually fly, um, along the coastline, this is, this is what I was heard from the pilots, like this is uh, what they usually do. So they can leave extra space for the traffic coming from the north so they can go inland. Uh, that's, that's what I was being told. Now, it doesn't, this doesn't mean that they always use this route, uh, but this is the route that they sometimes use. They do change it from time to time, depending on the time of the departure. Uh, There I am right there. This this game is just uh, brutally realistic. Um, it is just insanely realistic. Did I turn the light? I can turn the lights on if I want. If I want to. Look at that. I just turned the lights. And the lights you can see. And they're right over here. You can also adjust the temperature. Uh... If you want to, hold on. But here, let me turn the lights on. See, you can turn the light. That's at night. You don't need it now. And I filled up this thing with fuel. Like, this thing has enough jet fuel. We should be okay. Maybe we'll see some UFOs as we fly. By the way, here's what's so cool. Yasin, here's what's so cool, old man. Whatever I'm seeing right now from the cockpit here, it's exactly what the real pilots are going to see. And this has never been... I was just talking to Matthew about this. This has, been, this has never been done before, guys. This has never been done before. Whatever I'm seeing right now, it's exactly what the real pilot it's going to see and this is groundbreaking guys that's why it's a big deal people ask me but this is just another flying game no it's not even a game it's a software simulator that mimics the real life this has never been this is groundbreaking guys you should be excited about this because this will help other video games and other simulators to push the envelope like rockstar can use something similar like this to have the entire united states in real time and you can travel through any city any state and you can create your own avatar or they can create the entire world and you create your own avatar and grand theft auto online in real time and everybody can visit everybody or date everybody or, or married and <laughs> crazy imagine the ridiculousness that can happen with what azure has created here the endless possibilities that's going to be possible in the future so i think we should be excited about this breakthrough i think this is really showing me that where the future is going to be in terms of mmos in in terms of um uh, Massively multiplayer online real time. They're gonna call it real time massively multiplayer online games uh, It's gonna be crazy Thank you, Matthew. I'll be here. Oh Take your time Matthew 
Take your time. I got a long way to go till Lake Placid, bro. I got a long way to go till New York. Take your time, brother. I haven't tried the multiplayer. Once I land uh, on the uh, Lake Placid at Irondack Airport, we're going to try some multiplayer to see how the multiplayer is. We're going to hop on the multiplayer. We're going to do some training. I know Cameron wants me to do some training. So we'll do that later. I'm glad that you purchased it. Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, you can check your, your Yasin, your hometown, where you were born. You can fly over your hometown to see where you were born to, you know, to to remember some of the memories of, you know, your childhood with your father, with your parents. You can fly over your hometown, your heartland. I mean, I think it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Go with a shadow, uh, old man. Honestly, go check out my video, old man. You can enjoy exactly what I'm enjoying right now. Go with actually shadow 25 minutes. You're going to download that game because you're using their fiber optic uh, internet. Shadow, go ahead. By all means. Actually, I would recommend old man. As a matter of fact, I would recommend everybody go with the shadow. It's going to be quick and fast like you've never seen before. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be flying in no time, ultra settings, 1080p. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, old man. Download it, bro. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can enjoy this right now, too. Go ahead. People are going to say, well, why are you recommending Shadow now? Because I don't know how stable your internet is. You might have some problems. And I don't want you to have problems. I want you to fly immediately. As fast as you can. I want all of you to fly. Okay? I'm I'm doing what Tom Cruise is doing. Everybody flies. Everybody flies. Now we're in Georgia. You see? Georgia. 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 Here we go. We passed the Savannah, 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 I'm sorry, Savannah, beautiful city, Savannah, and we're going to go to South Carolina a little bit. People ask, well, why are you still in a high altitude? Because we're so far away that there's no reason for us, there's no reason for me to, to descend. There's no reason for me to be descending down. Because we're so far away from New York. What's up, Sunny Gamer? How you doing? I love that uh, Walt Disney. Uh, Disney. Disneyland. I love that Disneyland. Um, profile picture you got, bro. <laughs> Disney's pretty cool, man. But it's expensive. It's expensive. I'll tell you that right now. T I'll tell you that right now. I like Orlando, but it's expensivo. Expensivo. <clears throat> yeah, Shadow is really awesome. And I really hope that I really hope that Shadow doesn't doesn't go out of business, man. I really I really hope that they don't, man. I really like them. I've been supporting them ever since I got it day one. I like their attitude, I like their customer service, and I hope that more people would support them, you know. This is how they become successful if we support them, you know. But I understand your point, Mr. Urban. You're absolutely right. That point you made yesterday, if they become so big, like really big, and they got so many people joining, and everybody's talking about them on the news, on the uh, IGN, on the GameSpot, then all these other developers will say, hold on a second, are you trying to tell me that they can play my game through Shadow? Huh? And they're not going to pay me tariffs? So the same thing's going to happen to to them that has happened to... Um... But wait a minute. Yeah, they're going to say, but you're paying monthly service. So we want the cut. We want the tariffs. 
And I'm afraid of that. And I think I've spoken to uh, Shadow about that. I really hope that, that it doesn't happen, but it's possible. Uh, it could happen, you know. <clears throat> Shadow, it's a, it's not a gaming service. It's a computing PC cloud service where you pay them monthly, a month, a certain amount of money, let's say $14 a month, and they're going to build a computer for you. And that computer, it's yours, but you can access it through their uh, server. You access it through their cloud server. And it runs pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Urban. You, you did a better job explaining that than me. I butchered it. <laughs> <coughs> No, 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 no. GeForce Now, it's a gaming service. Cloud gaming service. It's different. Shad I mean, Stadia and GeForce, they're cloud gaming services. This is a computer. You can do whatever you want to do on that computer. You can browse the internet. You can use your um, video editing software, your uh, music software, whatever you want to use, you can do on that computer. It's your computer, really. It's just, it's not with you here. It's sitting uh, somewhere out there in, in Canada or France or, or Houston server or New York server, somewhere out there. Uh, but it's a computer. It's not a gaming service. I think a lot of people are making a mistake, confusing. It's not a gaming service. <coughs> <coughs> And, you know, it's, it's my God, I've seen so many people make that mistake. They're calling the shadow a gaming service. It's not a gaming service. Yes, you can play games on it, but it's really, technically speaking, it's not a gaming service. Really, it's not. Uh, they're not charging you for video games. You can play whatever you have on your PC. You can play it. Uh, you can play this. You can, you can use their internet. Their one. Check this out, Johansson. You can use their one gigabit fiber optic internet. How cool is that? You are using their internet, one gigabit, stable fiber optic, one gigabit internet from New York City. Uh, and you can download this game in 25 minutes. You can, uh, you can download the game like 900 gigabytes, 25 minutes. 50 gigabytes, uh, 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Man, uh, I'm sure Mr. Urban will, will walk you through it, man. Mr. Urban knows. Actually, Mr. Because of Mr. Urban, I find out about Shadow. Thanks to Mr. Urban, he he's the one. So he'll walk you through it, man. It's amazing service. I mean, it truly is an amazing uh, PC cloud uh, leasing PC cloud service. Meaning you're leasing the PC. That you have your own PC, but you're leasing it from them. Yes, Desperado, I'm in the air. We're at uh, North South Carolina, right here in South Carolina. Uh, we have flown from South Florida. No, we're still in Georgia. I'm sorry, Georgia. We're slowly entering in North Carol uh, South Carolina here. Um, we're flying to New York. We're flying to uh, upstate New York, Adirondack area. The uh, the Olympic city uh, Olympic small town from 1980s where we defeated the Soviet Union in 1980s uh, there's a movie made after it called the miracle Kurt Russell's in it he plays the uh, the coach so we flown from when did we start we started at uh, yeah it took me one hour with this jet uh, from from Palm Beach County all the way to uh, right here, Georgia. We're still in uh, in the coastline of Georgia right here. Like you can see it actually. If, if you if I go over here, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll probably see it down there. Hold on. And pretty soon we're gonna be going inland. Uh, we're going to go off the coast. 
and we're gonna go inland. We're gonna go to uh, South Carolina. North, I think North Carolina would be beautiful to see. <coughs> but the weather, it's not that good everywhere. Everywhere the weather sucks on northeast. So many scattered uh, clouds over here. Are we using the live weather? Hold on. It is live. Yeah, we're using the live weather. Hold on a second. No, live weather. Here we go. Oh, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> so this is live. This is a live weather right now that we're using. And... Uh, It looks look it's gonna be raining in uh in Georgia over here. So we're gonna go inland. Let me turn my lights on, hold on. There we go. Oh I, I would love to deliver a pizza to Desperado. <laughs> and then Desperado comes out and then Machete comes out. I want the pizza too! Give it where's where I said two large, not one large. <laughs> I said, all right. This, I mean, all right. Machete, machete. Relax. <laughs> We're going to do it. Danny Tre no, Danny Treo has a restaurant. Danny Treo has like a bunch of restaurants in Los Angeles. <clears throat> in California. Southern California. A lot, a lot of good tacos, man. I think he's really good, man. His restaurants are pretty good. They call it diners. Like, they're diners. It's not really a restaurant. It's like a diner. It's a diner, uh, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Maybe you can see the land down there. There's the land. Um, we're in Georgia. 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 Hold on. There we go. This is real time, guys. The weather is not looking good in Georgia. It's not looking good, man. Very murky. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be. Imagine that if he tips him ten thousand, the guy will quit immediately, and that's it. Pay off his college loans, <sighs> he's good to go. Uh, yeah, old man. They told me that uh, the ultra, the ultra tier, and infinite tier, it's not coming till sometime next year. They don't know when, but sometime next year. Do you guys want me to go a little bit outside while we're flying? I'll put an autopilot. Um... I mean, look at the detail on this plane. This is real time. 
This is the weather right now in Georgia. Um, I think we're going to enter um, South Carolina pretty soon. It's a very nasty weather. I mean, it looks nasty. <laughs> it looks too cloudy. <laughs> Let's go to the cockpit. All right, we're, gonna, we're getting closer to the coastline. Uh, South Carolina. Now we're going to be entering South Carolina. Closely. Uh, let me... Uh, I hope this is not boring for you guys, uh, but it is what it is. You know, this is how it is when you're flying for real. <laughs> Becomes a bit boring. See? Now we're going to enter... Uh, Carolina, South Carolina over here. <clears throat> no, you don't have to. You don't have to. It's going to tell you exactly where the airport is. You're going to see it, actually. You're going to see it right over here in a horizon when you get there. So you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you can. You can. Technically, you can if you want to. If you want to do it, hands-free. Technically, you can do it if you want to, but it's not necessary. Hold on. Sorry about that. I have to uh, get my microphone a little bit here. Uh, my microphone got stuck. There we go. That's better. There we go. That's better. Now we're talking. Hold on. A lot of turbulence here. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Steady, 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 steady. There we go. That's it. That's it. <coughs> it is photorealistic. Um, and this is exactly, this is real time. This is exactly what the pilot will see. Uh, you see right here. This is 1242 p.m. Um, hold on. It is live. Live. 1.42 p.m. I did put it to the live weather. I did. Yeah. It is live. Live weather. So whatever the pilot is seeing in real life, I'm seeing right now on this uh, off of the coast of uh, South Carolina. Pretty much. And you got to be careful. There's a lot of turbulence. Hold on. Let me... Uh, here we go. Got to be very careful, man, with this plane. Uh, I'm doing my best here, but what you got to remember, oof, turbulence here. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Let me go down a little bit. Hold on. It's too much turbulence here. Let me descend just a few. 
couple of thousand feet. Let me just go down there a little bit. Oh my God, the turbulence is unforgiving. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. Oh Lord. Ooh. Man, oh man. This is your light here. You can turn it on and off. Turn my light on. Um, slowly, slowly adjust it. Like this. There we go. There we are, Georgia right now. Not Georgia, I'm sorry. Carolinas, <coughs> South Carolina. We're going to go inland. We're going to go inland right now. We're going to go off the coast. We're going to go inland. That's what we're going to do right now. We've been on the ocean too much. Uh, it's time for us to go inland, South Carolina, and then through North Carolina, Western Virginia, Pennsylvania, and the Pennsylvania, and New York, upstate New York, and there you go. <coughs> I, I have no data cap, old man. See, that's a good thing. No data cap on my internet. and That's why I'm paying a shitload of money for it. <laughs> I'm sorry for the language. I, I, oh, he's not here. That's good. Um, I'm paying a truckload of money for my internet. Because of the unlimited uh, internet, no data cap. So it's all good. All right, let me see. Oh, the turbulence. Turbulence, 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 turbulence. Main thing. All right. Oh, my God. Easy, 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 easy. Imagine how terrifying this is when you do this for real. Your heart drops because you know you can't make a mistake, dude. It's a life and death situation. Uh, all right, so we're going to go inland. man hold on all right we're gonna go inland pretty soon uh to uh carol Ooh, look at this because we're on the ocean man turbulence terrible <clears throat> no it won't it won't throttle me because uh it's unlimited i mean it doesn't matter if I go, I mean, because there's no limit set, uh, but that's why I'm paying big bucks. I'm, I'm even embarrassed. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to even tell you how much I'm paying. <laughs> Let's just say it's not cheap. <laughs> Thank you, David Johansson. I'm moving to Sweden. That's it. <laughs> I'm moving to Sweden. Not only do we pay so much for our internet, Johansson, but at the same time, we're not getting the best internet. Our internet infrastructure here in North America and United States is not really the best. And that's a shame. Uh, you think we would have the best infrastructure for the internet? Now, certain cities metropolitan cities like New York City, Los Angeles, downtown metropolitan areas, uh, Seattle, obviously, uh, metropolitan areas. They have a pretty good internet, obviously, good infrastructure for the internet. San Francisco has the best. Uh, Silicon Valley, uh, if, you, if you're in Silicon Valley, that's it, bro. You're like rocking. You're, you're, you're rocking and rolling fiber optic from Google Fiber. But I'm talking majority of the of the country. There's a bunch of spots in, in the United States that doesn't have a really good internet infrastructure. And that's pretty sad.
That's it, man. I got to move to Sweden, bro. Peter Stomare is from Sweden. I should, I, should, I should go to Sweden and become a Swedish actor. Make some, some crazy, crazy movies. <laughs> some fucked up crazy movies. <laughs> and the Sweden is the safest place to be. People say, why is Sweden the safest place to be? Because everyone's packing. Everyone's got a gun. Many, 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 many guns. They got tanks parked outside their homes. Uh, they got uh, Humvees with a 50 caliber attached to it. So everyone's packing. So you don't have to worry about the crime. No one's going to rob you. No one's going to steal your car. No one's going to assault you. It's the safest place to be. Unless you happen to be uh, some crazy motherfucker and you suicidal, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we're entering. Uh, we're entering a. Hold on, Carolina, South Carolina. Slowly but surely. There is an old quote: "An armed society is the most peaceful society." Well, why is that? Because nobody wants to die, guys. Nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to live. Everybody loves life. Everybody loves sex. Everybody wants to have a good fucking time. Sorry for the language. Nobody wants to die. So if you're living in an armed society, I don't know how good of a shooter you are. Maybe you're John Wick. Maybe you're really good. And I don't know what you're packing. Maybe you're packing 45 hollow point. Maybe you are, you are packing the Alaskan. Maybe you're packing Magnum, you know. I don't know what the hell you packing. So I'm going to refuse to fuck with you unless I have to. Uh, so no one's going to be robbing. No one's going to be looting. No one's going to be attacking unless you're suicidal. So the armed society is the most peaceful society. And the Sweden is the one example of that. <clears throat> this is true. Where do criminals thrive? Criminals thrive on the weak and helpless individuals who are weak who are helpless uh who can defend themselves that's where they thrive that's where they are usually thriving they're not going to thrive in an area where there's everyone's armed they're not going to do that they don't want to die they want to live okay this this is true this is a true statistic i gotta go below ten thousand feet all right we gotta descent a little bit We're entering. You see the Carolinas over there? Let me show you. There's Carolinas over there. You see it? It's right there. We're going to get there right now. Going into Carolinas. Oh, this turbulence. I got a descent 10,000 feet. Okay. There it is, the coast of Carolinas. Whew. My God, the turbulence is terrible. We're descending down a little bit, just a slightly below 10,000. Well, that's awesome, David Johansson. And it's a good thing you never have to use it. Because everybody understands in Sweden that, hey, everybody's packing, so let's, let's all get along. And you're going to have less criminals. You're going to have less crime. I'm sure there's always somebody who's stupid, somebody who's suicidal, somebody who's, who's, who's an, there's always an idiot. There's always a stupid uh, MFOs out there, okay? Who are going to try to do something stupid? They're out there. They, they exist, uh, unfortunately. But we, in general, uh, people are going to say, "Hey, uh, I don't want to argue with this guy unless I really have no choice. I don't want to get in a, in his face." So that keeps it civil. That keeps the society civil. In my opinion, that's what I think. Oh yeah. Definitely hot 
but not as hot as I did yesterday. Yesterday I was running 1440p. Once I crank it up to 1440p, it gets super hot, man. Right now it's fine. All right, we're entering a Carolinas coast. Uh, South Carolina here. And it's a lot of turbulence, guys. Look at this turbulence. It's brutal. You can see the land over here. You can see it over there as well. Uh, right here, you can see it. There it is. We're in a South Carolina. I'm approaching it. So let's go ahead. First of all, I want everybody to, to know I'm not a real pilot. I know some pilots. They told me some things, but I'm not a real pilot. So I want everybody to who is what if you're watching this, dude, I'm not a real pilot. Please, please understand that. Please, Mr. Urban, uh, my moderators, please explain to everybody, Mr. 4K is not a real pilot. So everybody needs to just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> um, I do know a pilot. This one girl, Emily, she's a pilot. And I, I, I got to check. I got to see what she did. I got to check out her channel again. I haven't spoken to her. I want to see how she's doing. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be as professional as she can be. All right. We're in Carolinas, boy. Carolinas, boy. We're in South Carolina. We're going to descent, not descent, we're going to go a little bit higher. We're going to go inland this time around. We're going to go inland. This is real-time weather. This is what you're going to see uh, off of coast of uh, Carolinas, South Carolina. This is exactly the weather that you're going to see right now in Carolinas. This is uh, what you're going to see once you go to um, once you go there in this location I mean what I'm seeing right now it's exactly what my friend pilot uh, Steven would see uh, I have another friend Steven who's uh, in uh, Cape Canaveral He's the Air Force pilot, but he's also a commercial pilot. And he tells me this is the route they take usually. They go uh, along the coastline to make room for the other airplanes because, you know, you have to be in contact with the traffic uh, tower, uh, air traffic control, ATC. And you constantly have to let them know, hey, I'm on approach. I'm not doing that here, obviously. I'm not, like doing that because it would be too boring and annoying for you to listen to the radio constantly but that's what that's what you have to do you have to when you make this approach you have to let carolina's nearest airport you have to let them know uh where you at you know you would have to do that but we're not doing it because it would be too annoying too annoying to listen to the radio constantly you know Hold on. All right, so look at this. Uh, the turbulence is just unforgiving, dude. I don't even know if I need this. Uh, we'll just put this. Hold on. Put it here for a minute. We're going to go inland. This is real, man. This looks real to me, man. This is ultra settings, and uh, this just looks super extra bananas real. Hold on. Somebody probably going to think that we are really uh, flying. Like, hey, is this guy really flying? What is this? <laughs> I think um, 25,000. I 
I think 25,000 feet. I could be wrong. Again, I'm not a real pilot, but I think it's 25,000. Please, if I'm butchering this, please correct me. But just remember, I don't have a... If I wish that my friend Steven was here. Honest, maybe one day I'll invite him to come here uh, and educate me properly. <laughs> but I'm not a pilot. I don't have a license to fly. So please remember that, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm an amateur. You should be terrified. If you are right now flying with me, you should be terrified and praying to God. You should be praying to God that you survive. <laughs> but I'm doing my best. I'm learning. I'm learning. Also, uh, I find out that Kurt Russell, it's a uh, licensed pilot. He's not a commercial licensed pilot, but he's a pilot. Just like Tom Cruise. Now... John Travolta, it's a commercial licensed pilot. He could fly commercially anywhere. Uh, John Travolta is like definitely safe with him. If someone's going to fly you, let it be John Travolta, man. He is the pilot, bro. Is he better than Tom Cruise? I don't know. I think they're probably equal. I think John Travolta has more, has more hours, more flight log hours than Tom Cruise, honestly. And um, as a matter of fact, he ha he has his own airport. John Travolta has his own airport. He's got the Airbus uh, commercial airplane. He's got his own airport on top of his own airport. He's got his own fuel uh, that that refills in Ocala in in, in Central Florida. <laughs> they have his own jet fuel, like his own fuel station. It's crazy. Wait, what happened? Did I run out of fuel? <gasps> oh my god. I ran out of fuel. I didn't put too much fuel. Oh no. Wait, can we fix this? All right, I got it. I got it. Hold on. Oh my god. I have no more fuel. <gasps> oh my god, I land somewhere. Dude, I ran out of fuel. What an idiot I was. I forgot to make sure I have enough fuel. What a jackass, dude. That's it. I'm going to land on a highway. Nearest airport. Jesus Christ. Myrtle Beach. Can you hear me, Myrtle Beach? Tower. Request landing. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my god. I can't believe this has happened. I have no choice. I got to do this. Oh, God. God, help me. God, help. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, we're going to crash for sure. Oh, Lord. No! No, 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 no. Oh, God, 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 God. 
Ah, I could make it. <sighs> Man. That's it, bro. We have died. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> I'm such a I'm such a twat, man. How could I forget? <sighs> I know. It was too late. I know the flaps. I forgot. It's too, rest in peace. August 22nd. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Year of our Lord. 2.27 p.m. Off of Myrtle Beach Airport. No more Mr. 4K. They're going to put his tombstone right there on Myrtle Beach. <laughs> It was exciting. I'm such an asshole. I didn't put enough fuel. I should have known, man. I I didn't f both left and right. I didn't. I should have filled it up, man. I didn't fill it up. I should have prepared. I should have filled up the fuel. I thought they did it for me. I guess. Oh, I should have gone to the flight planner, and I should have made sure that I have enough fuel, or which airport to land to refuel. There's a flight planner you can use and stuff. Let's do some training, though. Let's do some training. Let's do the uh, altitude... Uh, attitudes and instruments? You mean altitudes? What attitudes? What? They meant to say altitudes, not attitudes. I don't have no attitude. Do I? <laughs> Let's do some practice. Uh... Let's do a landing. Actually, let's do uh, edit, uh, altitudes and instruments. I want to learn about the instruments a little bit. Let's do that. Lucala. Is that where Himalayas are? <sighs> This was so bad, dude. All right, let's go. Let's go train. All right. Airspeed indicator. Attitude indicator. What is the attitude? You mean, they mean altitude? Oh, you definitely have to pick it up, Dean. I think I would get the X Series X just for this alone. But remember, if you purchase it on PC, Premium Deluxe Edition, from Microsoft Store, you'll be able to carry on Premium Deluxe Edition to the X Series X, so you won't have to purchase it again. So if you buy a PC version, like this PC version that I have, I will be able to play it on the X Series X, no problem. With the Premium Deluxe, that airplane, it's part of the uh, that Bombardier jet, it's part of the uh, Premium Deluxe Edition. The one you just saw. So, Dean, if I was you, I would get the PC version, and then you're good to go. You can play it on PC. You can play it on the uh, X Series X. You can play it on the Shadow. You can play it on the X Cloud. Uh, that's what I would do. I mean, honestly, because with one price, you're already taken care of. <clears throat> All right, let's let's learn the uh, the instruments. Pilot's attitude. Today we're talking about attitudes of flight. Attitude. Is oriented relative to the horizon. If you look outside, you can see the cockpit is just about four inches below the horizon line. We're flying straight with a decent rate of speed. This is the cruise attitude. Let's see how it reads on your instrument. All right. Take a look at the attitude indicator. Attitude. The flies, it shows your current attitude. The white line is the horizon with the sky 
sky above and the ground below. Sky above, ground below. Okay, so it's the line of a horizon. So that's what the attitude is. Okay. Tachometer? Alright. Where's that? Oh, I see. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and a stable altitude of 6,000 feet. I see. But that's about to change. Take the stick when you're ready. All right. All right. Make sure you don't pitch up too much, or the angle will be too steep to create lift. And without enough lift, we'll stall. I can see the climbing altitude right now. I see it. All right. Go full throttle and start climbing. I definitely see the altitude going. So the attitude is your line, your horizontal line, and the altitude is the uh, the where you can see it. How much you're climbing? Pull back slightly on the yoke to raise the nose just above the horizon line. About two inches. I got it, I got it, I got it. She says two inches. That's all you need is two inches? Oh my god. I did. Is this enough? Two inches? Welcome to the climb attitude. <sighs> see how it shows up on your attitude indicator and tachometer? Yeah, I see it. Twenty three hundred RPMs. Whoa. I need a better controller for this game. I just realized Gamer Muscle was right. I need the honeycomb. Oh my god. Adjust the throttle to twenty three hundred RPM. Alright. Did I do it? Hold on. Is this 2300? Hold on. I'm trying to. Hold on. I got to see it. I got to see it myself. 2300? It's right over here. Oh, 2300. Is that good? Nice job. We're now set up with the same attitude and power we had at the sophomore lesson. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. 
descent attitude, okay? Bit further be uh, below horizon. Here we go. It's on the right side. You're right. Yeah, man. I need a better. I need a honeycomb. Uh, that controller, man. I need to invest. Just below. She says just below. Reduce the throttle to 1800. Okay. She says 1800. Bing. Twenty three hundred, okay. But every plane is different, right, Johansson? Right, Desperado. See, that's the thing. You gotta educate yourself on every airplane. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I want to say something really quick. Guys, here's what this game is teaching you. And I, I want to say this right now. I, like a jackass, jump into the most expensive airplane there is. A jet. Uh, without properly, you know, learning how to fly it. So, you got to take small steps. You got to go with the Cessna first. Cessna, 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 Cessna. I need to get comfortable with the Cessna. And then from Cessna, I need to move to another Cessna and then a bigger Cessna uh, before you can jump into a jet, uh, jet, jet airliner. <clears throat> so I just want to say I like that they're doing this. And it, it's really, it, they're forcing you to do this in a way. Okay. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. How do I do that? At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing Hold 10 on. degrees each. Use them to control your roll. Where is it? Um Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see, hold on, let me see. Hold on. Thanks. I've got control now. Well done. Okay. Woo! Okay, so I learned about the attitude. What is the attitude? Attitude, it's uh, the horizontal line above and below. Uh, so you got to keep in that horizontal line. So that way you're not descending too low and you're not climbing too high. So you can see where you're at on that horizontal line. What else have we learned? We learned about the, um, of course, your speed. Your ARP, so you can see how fast you're going. Uh, and we also, but here's the thing. Every plane is different. You know, this plane is different than, let's say, another Cessna airplane. So you constantly have to get familiar with the plane that you are flying. Let's go next. Takeoff level flight. 
Let's learn how to take off. Yeah, yeah, let's learn how to take off. You got to invest in a really good uh, controller, like yoke. I need to get that honeycomb yoke. Because uh, with, uh, with the flight simulator, you really got to have a really good controller, man. I just realized how important that is, man. Gamer Muscle was right. It has to be, that dead zone has to be correct. Um, yeah. You have to invest in a good controller for this game. In order for you to really get it down properly. So you have to invest in a good controller. Yeah, RPMs on the right side, attitudes on, on, on the left, and uh, the altitude is right next to the attitude. Attitude is the, uh, the horizontal line above and below, and then the uh, altitude is the, what you're climbing. And then, of course, the RPM, it's on the right side. That's how fast you are throttling the speed. Okay. To focus runway, hold F1. It is clear. Hold on. Wait a minute. The F1 is not responding. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's the, uh, this right here is the, uh, Attitude, altitude, and uh, of course on this over, this side over here, we've got the RPM, and this is your radio headings and all that. We haven't got to the radio yet. Wait a minute, what's going on? The F1 doesn't respond. Am I supposed to press... What's going on? It all seems to be clear. Hello? Hello? What happened to my pilot? I mean, my cope, my training pilot. <sighs> Hello? Okay. Wait a minute. 
It is on the line. I don't know what she's talking about. Hold on. I did it. I did it. I did it. Stop, stop, stop. The break. Yeah, yeah. Actually, on this one, it's different. It's a B5. On It's right next to the... Because uh, I'm using a Hattis X1. Hattis X1 has a different layout. So here, it's a B... Uh, it's on the, on the B. Hold on. Here we go. Ready? Let's see. The RPM, the RPM... Okay, got it, I got it. Release the brake. Okay. Fifty-five knots. Good. Now keep pull back on the yoke. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focused on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. All right. Hold on. My altitude, altitude, altitude. Hold on. Turn the lights on. Is the lights on? Okay, I did it. <clears throat> First step here is adjusting our attitude. We're in a cruise attitude, pushing max power. To stay level at our target altitude, let's start by easing the throttle back to 1800 uh, RPMs. 1800? Hold on. 1800 RPMs? Wait a minute. Here we go, slowly. Trim wheel. Down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. Where is the trim? Hold on. Oh, you're talking about the uh, inside the plane? Oh. 
How do I trim it? Where's the trimmer? Um, where the hell do you trim this shit? Hold on. I'm pressing the X. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me see. We're still at 1,800. We got to go up to 55. What was it? 5,500 feet. Wait a minute. And then press the X. Let's see. I don't know how to add this uh, trim slider on a controller. Hold on. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's here. Nah, it's not. I don't know. I don't think I have it here. Hold on a second. Let me use uh, the trim. How do you add a trim, though? Because I can't figure out the... Uh, let me see. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Can I put my own input? Hold on. X. Trim. Trim. Nope. Uh. Where the hell is the trim? Trim, trim.
Oh, I got it. Okay. Just had to look at that. Get familiar with the... Uh... What's up, Cameron? How you doing, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... Hold up. I think we're at 1800. Let me see. We are 1800. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Oh, no, no. I lost the control. Hold on a second. Ah, there it is. Thank you, uh, Johansson. Let me see. Oh, wait. There we go, 1800 right there. This is difficult, man. Nah, it's not responding four and two. Let me see. Hold on. Um. F2. What about the F2? Where is the F2? F2, F2. Um, yeah, I don't think... For some reason, I don't know what the hell... Yeah. Okay. Let's put the B2. I thought that it was automatically... Uh, I thought it was automatically doing it, but I guess not. Uh, so let's bring it back up. Hold on. Apply and save. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold on. No, don't crash. Don't crash. Keep it at 1800. Let's go. Ah, I crashed. Ah, uh, forget about this. I got I got the basic of it. 
I understand the basics now of it. Uh, it's fine. Let's try the instruments, the radio instruments, and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, for some reason, it's not responding. The uh, the trimmer up or down is not responding. I don't know why. You know, I tried pressing that button too. It didn't work. You know, so. Let's do some more training. Hold on. Um, I want to I wanna get into landing a little bit. Uh, landing techniques. I pretty much got the whole basics of uh, the attitude, uh, attitude and the altitude difference between the attitude, attitude which is your uh, horizon uh, levels between the ground and the sky so you got to keep it in that horizon level called the attitude um, I also learned about the RPM where the RPM is located and uh, where do you adjust the uh, the speed for the RPM when you are throttling how fast you're supposed to go uh, so we learned about that um, the only thing that I couldn't get you know working aligned is the the trimmer that's something i don't know what's going on with the trimmer uh it didn't even even on the keyboard didn't work didn't work on the f2 on the b2 maybe something wrong with my controller i don't know what the deal is uh obviously it's not working but uh let's do some landing you know Oh, I didn't even touch it. I just left it. But see, she wants me to climb. She wants me to climb that altitude. And then she says, pull the yoke, hold it. And then when you climb the 5,500 feet at 1,800 RPM, then press the um, the F2 or B2 uh, to, to, to trim down. I even pressed the B2 to trim when I was trimming down and trimming up. Nothing, nothing worked. So I'll try it some other time, you know. That stuff, you know, it's not like that super crazy important to me because uh, every plane is different. On some airplanes, there's a trimmer. You can adjust it with the mouse, honestly. Like these jet liners, they have it like when you can click with the mouse, you can adjust it. Uh, but I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Obviously, it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, let's do some lending. Let's do that. Oh, you missed so much, Cameron D, bro. You gotta watch from the beginning. <sighs> I was in the mode of um, learning the basics of the Cessna. Like, the instruments, what's the attitude panel, what does it mean, attitude? What's the difference between attitude and altitude? Uh, then we also learned the basics of where your RPM is, just like the instruments, where the instruments are, where they're located, and how to operate them, how to uh, look at them, how to know where you are, on what level of attitude uh, you are, and how f fast you're going on your RPM. Like, it's just certain basics, uh, on it, like a basic, basic Cessna stuff. That's that's what we uh, pretty much learned. But you missed it, man. Uh, tell him, David Johansson. In the beginning, we were flying from South Florida all the way to uh, Lake Placid, but I ran out of fuel like a jackass. I forgot to make sure that I have enough fuel. So once we got to the Myrtle Beach, everything was going fine. But once we got to the Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina, I ran out of fuel. And I had to make an emergency landing. And you got to see that shit, man. That is hilarious, bro. Oh, nice. You were, I know. I, I was telling people, like, if you're going to find Cameron, you're going to find him in the gym. He's a gym fanatic, man. If, if you're going to if you're gonna look for Cameron, you're going to find him in the gym. He lives and breathes in the gym. <laughs> but um, it was hilarious, dude. We had to make this uh, emergency landing, and it was so ridiculous. Desperado saw it. I, I think Johansson, I don't know Johansson, did you see it? I think the old man saw it. 
I think the old man saw it. It was old man and Desperado. They seen it. And Mr. Urban World saw it as well. It was so ridiculous, man. But the thing is, I didn't put my flaps. You see, if I had put on my flaps, then I would have been able to, uh, uh, you know, you know, reduce the speed and then land. Uh, the whole thing was just unexpected, man. It, it really sucked because I was, my engines were turned off. I had no fuel, man. I was just gliding. Basically, I was gliding. There was like, <laughs> there was nothing. Nothing was working. I was just gliding. It was just ridiculous. But I almost made it, man. I was like this close. But eventually, I still crashed, you know. <laughs> You'll see it, man. It was, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's learn how to land. Now, the mistake I made was uh I went to like a very sophisticated airplane. And I'm not familiar with this sophisticated airplane where the flaps are, where is this, where is that? Uh you, you got to get familiar with the airplane. And you have to properly position yourself for the landing but you got to remember uh this is emergency landing this is something even a real pilot even experienced pilot will f like what the hell do i do right <laughs> unexpected like unexpected uh, scenario that happens and it was uh i think only thing i had to do was flaps it's like johansson says if i use the flaps I would have been able to reduce that speed even more and then land and then put on the brakes and then safely land. But it all happened so suddenly because uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to uh, make sure that I have enough fuel and I didn't do that like a jackass. You're going to travel from South Florida all the way to upstate New York, not making sure that you got enough fuel. <laughs> what a jackass. <laughs> Me. <laughs> No, it was uh, bum Bombardier, the latest Bombardier, like uh, the one that uh, Dwayne Johnson and, and Tom Hanks and Spielberg and all these famous movie stars are, uh, you know, flying in. It's one of those, you know, private, private jetliner. <laughs> and uh, I screwed it up, dude. Totally. But you'll see when you watch it. You'll see it was it was hilarious, dude. It was freaking hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, because I didn't properly like a jackass that I am. Uh, it's all me. I'm responsible. I didn't do a proper planning. I did everything correct except fuel. Making sure I have enough fuel or to refuel to the nearest airport. Well, let's say maybe at Myrtle Beach I could have refueled and then continue on from Myrtle Beach to upstate New York, right? Uh, because I didn't have enough fuel. Yeah. But you got to watch it. You got to watch it. You'll see. All right, let's learn how to properly uh, land the Cessna. I did it like a like a doc, like a doc. Uh, what's his name? Um, Doctor Disrespect. Oh, Doctor Disrespect was horrible. Doctor Disrespect was like like a total insanity of flying. <laughs> you guys gotta watch that man. That thing is hilarious. Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> he was going upside down, left and right. <laughs> no nose die. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad the doctor is uh, the doc is back on you that is that he's on YouTube man I'm so glad he's on YouTube man forget the twitch I think all they're gonna have on twitch is bunch of uh, bunch of chicks and bunch of simps that's all you're gonna have on twitch bunch of chicks and bunch of simps I have a Twitter I have a Twitter I have a Twitter. And let me give you a link to my Twitter. I like to call it Twitter. <laughs> In a nice, authentic British accent. Twitter. 
的 Twitter， 嗯 ，Twitter，Oh my God， 好了，我是 Twitter。Hold on! Oh my God! Twitch Twitters, bunch of Twitch Twitters. Oh my God! Ah, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Twitters angels and、uh, simp's. <sighs> no Twitch, no Twitch angels and simp's. That should be like、uh, the new TV show. Let me give you my Twitch, my Twitch. You'll see me with a samurai. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. Uh, copy. And paste. There you go. That's it. I forgot to put that I'm live. Hold on. That I'm live. That I'm live. Streaming. Hold on. Here, let me show you. You can see it.、Uh, it's right here.、Uh, you'll see on a photo. <laughs> This is the plane I was dry. I was flying. I'm live. Hold on. I gotta let people know I'm live. I'm live. Flight simulator. I'll put the hashtag. Hold on. I want this to go directly to flight simulator. Pretty soon I'll take a little break. Gotta eat something. A pilot gotta lee. I、uh, gotta eat here. <clears throat> so pretty soon I'm gonna be eating something. I gotta eat something like in about ten minutes after we finish this、uh, training. But here I'm live. Mike's a flight simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I can trigger people, man. Just they can just look at my photo and they're getting immediately triggered. I wonder why, why they get so triggered, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. I mean, you should only get triggered if somebody,、uh, if somebody does something to you personally, you know. But you don't know me, dude. Why are you getting triggered? Hey, I'm honored, dude. I always tell people if I can live inside your head, rent free. I'm honored. If you're talking about me, I'm honored.、It、means I'm doing something right. <laughs> But anyway, I don't have time to figure that shit out. I don't really care. That's their problem, not my problem. Um, there we go. Go check it out. Let's do this. My first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration. Five knots with ten degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around sixty-five knots. Sixty. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. Sixty-five knots. Runway number. You want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle. Back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. F8. F8.
I don't know, man. Nothing's working. I'm going to land this anyway. I don't care. I'm landing this son of a bitch. I'm going to land it. Watch. I don't need this 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 bitch to tell me how to freaking fly a plane. I know how to fly a goddamn plane. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to land this. I don't care. I'm going to... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I got this. I got this. Don't worry. I can land this. I'm a professional. Didn't you see me with, with Tom Cruise? That's right. Through the fire, through the wire. I can land this, son of a bitch. I did it! Ah! Ah! You see, I did it! <laughs> I did it! Where's the brakes? There they are. I did it! You see? What happened to my screen here? It looks scratched. Who scratched my screen? You can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Try yes, landings can be very hard, even for a seasoned pilot. That's what we're here for, right? That's right. That's why you're here for. To make sure my hard landing is trimmed properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Traffic pattern. All right, we're going to do this next. I got to get something to eat. After I finish eating, we're going to continue. We're going to continue this. All right. In the meantime, I want you guys to watch. i tell you what. While I'm eating, you guys can watch this. Hold on a second. Let me go to uh, main menu. I have no idea which Cessna it is. I have no idea which which uh, Cessna. It's one of the Cessnas. So before I go to eat, I'm going to show you something. Um, hold on. I'll let you watch my hangar. Watch my hanger. Watch my hanger while I'm eating. Uh, I'll check the Twitter. I'll check the Twitter. David Johansson, you handsome bastard. There you are. I'm going to follow you. I got to follow a bunch of people, man. I got to follow Tori. Tori Weegers, thank you. I got to follow Johansson. Dean, I got to follow Dean as well, man. Got a bunch of people. Hold on. The handsome bastard. David Johansson. <laughs> he is a handsome bastard. I think Scarlett Johansson, she's Swedish, right? She's half Swedish. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. I got to grab something to eat, like 10 minutes tops. I hope you guys enjoy watching this a little bit. And um, maybe I can, hold on, set the view. Like this. Or inside. Look and look inside. Or just... Do it like this. What is this? Uh, specifications. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, man. Thank you, Johansson. I see it now. You can use a mouse to trim. It's right here. 
in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you. Um, I'll call you DJ. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, DJ, bro. Uh, see, but she wouldn't tell me. That bitch wouldn't tell me that it's there. <gasps> she wants me to trim. She wants my hard trimming to be harder, but she won't tell me how to do it properly. She won't even help me. She won't even give me a hand to hard trim up and down. She won't even give me a hand. Unbelievable. So it's right there. There's the pitch. I see it. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, DJ. David Johansson. Thank you. I see it. I see it. I like the way you draw. I like the way you draw it. Oh, that's hilarious, bro. You guys gotta see. I gotta. Oh, this is hilarious. It looks kind of. <laughs> anyway, when we get when we get back, <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. But I I know where it is now. I can use my uh, mouse to trim it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Thank you, Cameron. All right, I'll be back. This is bored, and I'll be back. <laughs>
my captain hat. I got my captain. Oh, captain. Oh, captain. You like my captain hat? You like my captain headphones? Can you hear me? Hold on. This is my captain. This is your captain speaking. Adidas captain. It's Adidas captain. <laughs> this is so cringeworthy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We're going to go to Egypt, Cairo. And uh, it's going to be fun. It will be fun. First, let's find Cairo, Egypt. Let's type in Egypt. Egyptian Museum. Egypt. Where's Egypt? What the f what the fuck? Why is it Egypt in the United States? <laughs> no, I forget it. Oh my god, this is just <laughs> Oh my god. I guess we gotta know what the Egypt uh call sign is. Hold on. Let me look at the map. Oh my god. That's okay, I'll find it myself. I'll go look in the map. I'll find it myself. That's all right. You are useless, Microsoft Bing. There is Cairo International. <clears throat> Set his departure. Departure. And then. Egyptian Museum. Whatever. Set his arrival. We're going to land on the pyramids. We're going to um, choose something smaller. Something more uh, reliable. Texture navigation. I haven't tried this. We'll go with this. 14,000 feet. That's fine. We'll go with that. And we're going to go to the world map. And we're going to fly. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> oh really ah but that's okay because uh, i really want to land on the um, johansson dj i really want to land on um next to the uh, pyramids in giza plateau i want to fly around them and i want to land right next to them and i want to explore uh it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting What's up, gaming adventure? Fuel range. Yeah. I should have done that before. That's something I made a mistake. I didn't plan it properly. I didn't... We can do that maybe uh, on another trip somewhere. It, let's say from from Germany to Sweden or something. But I should have made a planner much better. I should have planned better. For, but for right now, I just want to quickly 
get to the pyramids and land next to the pyramids just to check out the pyramids. <coughs> ESSSB Brahma. I think uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow. But I got to make sure I got enough fuel. Or we can do like Munich to uh, Brahma. ESSSB. I do look like a captain. Captain. Oi, captain. Where are you, captain? <laughs> Adidas captain. <laughs> this is your captain, Adidas, speaking. Make sure you fasten your seatbelt. Cairo Tower, Cessna, Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray, Golf, Sierra, at runway 23 center, ready for takeoff, departure to the west. Hmm. Let's go. This is going to be good. Why it's raining over there in Cairo? Oh, my God. We want a good weather. We're not going to use the taxi. I'm going to put that over here somewhere. Right there. So turn the lights on. And here we go. Let's use the external. Hold on. We'll use the external view. Like that. Here we go. There you go. Come on. Slowly but surely. Oh, that would be brutal. Alaska? Snow effects? Oh, we can do that next. <clears throat> come on, come on. Come on, Dylan. Dylan! Where's the pyramids? Damn it. What's going on, man? Sounds like there's a there's a cat inside. Oh my god, I chosen the worst airplane. Do I need to trim? Hold on. Where's the pyramids, man? We're looking for pyramids. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. No, don't crash, don't crash, no! <laughs> Zero flaps, oh my god. We didn't do it right. Ah, shit. Let me get my flaps. We gotta turn off the damn flaps. Hold on. Turn on the flaps. 
Let's just start. Have I went to Hawaii? No. I haven't gone to Hawaii yet. Let's do it again. This time we have to turn off the slap turn on the, the flaps. Or turn them off actually. I think they're slowing me down. You're right. Guess the, so much for the pyramids. <laughs> Breaking news. Unhappy customer survived. <laughs> Didn't see the pyramids, so the hospital. <laughs> so the pyramids from the hospital. So I have to put zero flaps, no flaps at all. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off the flaps totally. I'm going to turn it off. And I should be in a cockpit. I shouldn't be outside. I should be in a cockpit. And then once we land, we can check the uh, the pyramids. No, I didn't make it, Matthew. I cra I ran out of fuel <laughs> like a jackass. I crashed in. I made it to uh, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, emergency landing, and I forgot to turn on my flaps, and uh, I crashed. I was gonna make it, barely gonna make it to land, and because I was gliding pretty much, and I didn't turn on my flaps and. Um, I crashed. <laughs> I left a tombstone on a Myrtle Beach. <laughs> it was the Cockman's fault. All right, here we go. Why it's so rainy? I want to see pyramids, not with all this rain. Oh, my God. All right, let's go inside a cockpit. Cockpit. Uh, cockpit. All right, where's the flaps? Bloody flaps, where are they? There they are. Goddamn flaps. <laughs> Zero. That's it. Zero. Zero flaps. And there's a... Right here. The trimmer. Pitch trim. Nose up. There you go. Okay. Now we got it. I'm learning from DJ David Johansson. The handsome Swedish bastard. <laughs> also a lawyer. <clears throat> yeah, it was he was hilarious the way I, the way I crashed. All right, let's do this. Let's make this happen. Wish me luck. Everybody, uh, did you sign the uh, the next of kin? I need you guys to write down the next of kin. Okay? These are the bulletproof uh, packaged boxes. So if we burn, these boxes will survive and they'll be able to look at the next of kin. To contact the next of kin to identify you. So did you guys sign uh, next of kin? Everybody signed next of kin? Put it in the uh, bulletproof, fireproof boxes. Good, good. Because I cannot guarantee you. <laughs> I cannot guarantee you. <laughs> I cannot guarantee you that we're going to safely land <laughs> next to the pyramids. <laughs> so on the landing, okay, David Johansson is going to be my uh, co-pilot.
So when we get close to Giza Plateau, we're going to move the flaps higher so we can slow down uh, the landing. So we're going to do that. That's it. David Johnson's going to be the pilot. He's going to be the pilot. You just don't know it. He looks like a pilot. DJ, you look like a pilot. You are a pilot, whether you like it or not, man. You were born to be a pilot. You have no say in it. <laughs> Here we go. This is it, fellas. May the Lord have mercy. May Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Seems like it's sunny outside. That's good. Lord have mercy, please. Everybody, okay, everyone signed the next of kin. That's good. It's inside the uh, fireproof uh, boxes. Okay. So that the Egyptian, you know, authorities can look into it, contact the embassies, and uh, notify the next of kin. Okay. Okay. Looks like we got this for now. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up, Mr. 4K. This is definitely not the time to screw it up. Take it easy, Mr. 4K. Take it easy. Take it easy, Mr. 4K. Where's the pyramids? Oh, my God. My attitude is good. I'm not going to contact you. Okay, I acknowledge. Fine. West departure? Okay, we're going west. Easy, easy, easy. I want to see pyramids, man. I thought as soon as you land on the airport, there should be pyramids. What is this? <laughs> I can't see the pyramids. So the pyramids don't exist. It's all a bunch of BS. It's all holographic imagery. It's fake. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We'll uh, we'll survive somehow, man. We'll uh, we'll have John Travolta join us. Maybe Tom Cruise will jump in and say, "Hey, this is what you got to do." Oh no, I don't like that sound. That's 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 a sound of death. <laughs> I know I am, but I'm looking for pyramids. Oh, Lord. Can we trim this down a little bit? Trim it, trim it. What about... Uh... Alright. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this pyramids over here? No. Yes, I, I, yes, I did it. I saw it. <sighs> Hold on. Lord. Lord, have mercy. Where's the pyramids? I have no idea what the pyramids are. Anybody sees the pyramids? Okay. All right, we'll, we'll do it like this. Oh, we definitely have a problem. <laughs> we got a big problem. 
Hold on. We'll find the pyramids, don't worry. We'll find them. It's a big city, Cairo, man. Holy crap. I didn't realize that till now. Pyramids, pyramids. Where are you? You think I would have seen him by now? You can see them from, from the space with a satellite, but you cannot... Bloody pyramids. <laughs> oh, Lord. Scouting for the... Looking for the pyramids. Like a jackass. <laughs> There's people behind me. They want to kill me. It's like, I want my money back. Land me now. Safely put me on the land. I want my money back. You don't know where the pyramids are. You're okay. fake. You're fake. Of course. Look at my Adidas. Uh, I mean, look at my Adidas um, hat. Does this look like a captain to you? <clears throat> All right. Let's, let's go. We'll find the pyramids, hopefully. One of these days. <laughs> God. God help us all. Everyone's terrified right now. People are just shaking and sweating and praying to God. They're praying to anybody right now. They're even praying to a cockroach. Please save me. <laughs> We're in the mercy of Adidas captain. So flaps are at 50. Okay. Look at Cairo. Holy shit. It's fake news. Bro. <laughs> Definitely a fake news. Damn, Cairo is a big, 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 big city. Look at this city, man. Holy crap. Holy shit. Look how big it is. Look how big the city is. Excuse me. Oh, it has to be next to the Nile. Nile River. Oh, I think I see a pyramid over here. I see it. I see the pyramids. I see it. I think I see it. They're over here. Look at this city. Holy crap. Are you guys seeing this? Look at this. How big Cairo is. Holy crap. This is right next to each other. Houses right next to each other, man. It's massive. This is crazy. And it's raining a little bit. There's a little bit of uh, scattered showers over here. I don't like that. I know. I hope. I keep my finger. Well, I learned something today. I learned about the attitude. I learned about the um, altitude. I learned about the RPMs. I learned about the trimming. And I learned about the uh, flaps. And this is the airplane I'm going to fly all the time, is this one. This is the airplane I want to fly. Dude, this is real. Look at this. Ultra settings. This looks... Here. I mean, you'll probably think that I'm for real flying. Look at this. There are the pyramids over there. You see them? There they are. Look at this. This is crazy. Look how huge the pyramids are, dude. Look at these little tiny buildings and look at the pyramid. No way we, we built that, dude. It has to be aliens, man. Aliens had to build that shit. I don't care what anybody says. It's got to be aliens. They came in and they helped us. That, that's all there is to it. I don't care what anybody says. 
hey, at least I know you got to take this. Here's how you get to the pyramids. Take this main road. Adidas captain is telling you, take this main road. And uh, which which way do we go? And go north. Go north. And uh, take this main road, whatever this main road is right here. Take this main road and uh, it will take you to... Um, dude, they're far away. The Giza pyramids are f so isolated from the city for, for a reason, I guess. Uh, you can't build nothing next to the pyramids. It has to be far away from the pyramids. But look at Cairo. Oh my God. Joe Rogan, what's wrong with you, man? Go to Cairo, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's such a pussy. He doesn't want to go to... He's afraid somebody will kidnap him. Dude, you're the Joe Rogan. No one's going to kidnap you. You're the Black Belt. You're the John Wick. Go to Cairo, man. Go see... Go see pyramids, bro. Come on. Everyone needs to see a pyramid. At least once. Once in your lifetime. You got to go and see it and say, Yes, aliens exist. Human... Humans can't possibly build this it's impossible even today we cannot build it so it has to be it has to be aliens oh, oh it's raining oh my god come on why it's raining look this is bs i want to be a clear sky i want to see so currently right now it's raining fuck Hold on, let me descend a little bit. <laughs> no, it's just the clouds, uh, scattered uh, clouds over there. So, remember, from Cairo International, write it down. From Cairo International, go north. Go north. Follow this uh, this highway here that takes you north. You got to go north. There's a Nile River. Nile River full of crocodiles. Nile crocodiles. Juggernauts of crocodiles. <clears throat> Plenty of crocodiles there. Salty crocodiles. But look how big the Cairo is, man. Damn! It's huge. It's massive. Holy shit. Cairo is massive. I guess they made all that money from tourism. So many people want to see the, the magnificent Giza Plateau. Pyramids and pharaohs. Uh, history of pharaohs and all that. Oh yeah. Look at this, man. Look how beautiful it is. Look at this. This is just... Wow. Wow. Let's slow down a little bit. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. I sound like a, what's his name? Like Ian Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy big, bro. Yeah, Matthew. Look, I get lost, dude. Oh, you can forget about. It. I'm never coming back home. I'm gonna get lost here, dude. I'm, I'm, I won't even be able to find a way home to the. No, I forget the way home. I won't be able to find a way to the to the nearest airport. I will be so lost here. But that's okay. I live in the pyramids. I'll hide inside the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens will pick me up. <clears throat> this thing is. Freaking forget Los Angeles. Forget New York City. Look at this shit is fucking massive. Yeah, nice casino down there too. Look at this shit is fucking massive, dude. Fucking huge. Cairo's f Joe Rogan, you gotta go to Cairo, dude. Come on, man. I know you're afraid someone's gonna kidnap your ass. But uh, that's some beta shit talking. Go to go to fucking go to Egypt, go to Cairo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he's afraid to go to Cairo. <laughs> he's afraid to go to Egypt. I was like, dude, you got to see the fucking pyramids, man. If there's one thing you do in life, you got to see this magnificent fucking thing. 
Now, this is ridiculous, dude. Wow. There's some more casinos down there. Hotels, a lot of resort clubs. There's the pyramids. We're going to descend down a little bit. Great Sphinx of Giza. I'm going to try to to land next to the pyramids. Um you know, obviously, you can't do this in real life. I, you, first of all, they'll shoot your ass down. Uh, they'll get the jets out in the air and they'll shoot your ass down. Uh, you can't get nowhere near the Great Sphinx of Giza. You got to go on a, on a bus. There's a bus, shuttle bus, that's going to take you there. And there's a bunch of dudes with camels armed with guns as a security. And they're going to make sure that you don't screw around. You can climb on the pyramids. Uh, you can do some jail time. So they got very strict laws. Like ridiculously strict. And they, as they should. As they should. <clears throat> there it is. I feel like I'm uh, like one of those guys. Like a tourist attraction. Yeah, we, we could never do this in real life. Yeah, this shit, you, you ain't doing this in real life. First, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go around the pyramids a couple of times, and then we're gonna land. Plenty of places to land here, don't worry. But remember, in real life, they'll shoot my ass down, rest in peace. Then you have a pretty good reason to have the uh, next of kin, f uh, bulletproof, flammable, uh, bulletproof. Uh, flammable proof box to be saved <laughs> oh my god look at this wow no this is realistic this is so oh my god dude look at this <laughs> dude this is so real Oh man, oh lord. Wow, dude. Wow, 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 wow. I'll make another loop, don't worry. We'll go around it. Everybody relax. At the at, at the moment they really don't have anything. But there was a one game somebody wanted me to check. Uh Derek uh, told me there's a game, exclusive game, that's coming out. But you're right, there's really nothing that's at this level uh, currently. <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. Hold on. Let's go make another loop. Everybody, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'll make another loop, don't worry. We'll go outside. We'll go outside. Don't worry. Here we go. Let me zoom in, zoom in. Holy shit, man. This is, look how real this is. <gasps> oh. 
all right so my customers are happy they don't want the, the money back they says they're happy with it okay that's a good news it says they're very happy they're very happy I don't know. I think we could try that. Maybe we'll see some animals. Look at the. This is real. Look at this. Somebody take a picture of this. Somebody take a bloody screenshot. Maybe I should take a bloody screenshot. We're going to land here. Look, there's buses. Look, you can see the bus. We're going to land right next to the buses. We'll make another turn. We're going to land right over here, dude. Wow. I think I have happy customers. I have very happy, happy, happy customers. Very happy customers right now, I think. Thank you, Matt. You. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Don't crash, don't crash. And we crashed. <laughs> we couldn't do it, man. We couldn't do it. We crashed. But it's okay, it was worth it, bro. The ten dollars worth it at least. The last thing you see before the ten dollars. <laughs> oh man. But this this is bananas, bro. This is bananas. This is crazy. Whoa. Did you see how beautiful that looks, man? The detail of Cairo. Fully detailed Cairo. The city. Uh, the Swink. The Swinks. I'm sorry. The Swinks. Uh, Giza Plateau. Swinks. Giza Plateau. Uh, with the pyramids. You can see the buses down at the, at the bottom. Where the tourist gets out of the bus. I mean, it's insane, dude. Yeah, it, it was just amazing. Okay, where do we go next? Next we go to... Uh, what was it? Uh, Cameron D. He wants me to go... To Alaska with the snow... Is that what you want, Cameron? You want me to go to Alaska? Kodiak Bear or something island with snow? I don't know. We'll see where you, if Cameron D wants me to go there. Or do you guys want me to go to Africa? We can go to Africa. No. Hawaii. Hawaii, like... Uh, where they filmed the uh, Jurassic Park. I need the coordinations for where they filmed Jurassic Park. So we can so we can see it and land exactly where the dinosaurs roamed. <laughs> let's go and check it out. Let's see where it was where it was filmed. Where uh hold on, let's go check it out. By the way, Cairo's badass. It's a huge city. It's a juggernaut of a city, man. Holy crap. Um, Hawaii, Hawaii Jurassic Park location. The hell is that? Oh, that's crazy. They still have the... Uh, wow, dude. Look at that. 
that tree is still there in Hawaii. Where is this? Let me see. This is in... Hold on. O Oahu. Kualoa Ranch. Oahu. 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 Hold on. Oahu. Kualoa Ranch. Let me just... <laughs> see where it is I'll check it out on the map oh I see where it is Kua Loa Kua Loa Ranch let's let's go check it out hold on be like I'd be like uh, cool hold on Kuaola. Kualoa. Ranch. Uh, nothing showing up. But it's okay. I'll find it. I know where it is. I see on the map. It's all good. I'll tell you. I already know where it is. It's right here. Hawaii. Hold on. Hold on a second. right here I see on the map I see on a map and it's this little tiny it's not it's not even uh, the island of Hawaii dude it's the the, the other island it's a Honolulu it's a Hono Honolulu it's a Honolulu and uh, Kuo Kualoa Ranch is right here Right, right north of uh, Paradise Bay Resort. Hold on. Just give me a second. It's right. It's right here. We'll take off from here. We'll take off from here and we'll make our way over here. This is where Jurassic Park was filmed. Right here. Uh, set as departure. And then we'll go here as a uh, arrival. But we're not going to go there. We're going to go here. We're going to go right over here. Along here. We're going to go north. We're going to go north, and this is where uh, Jurassic Park was filmed. Right over here, and this is where the hurricane hit. Remember back in um, 1990 or 1992 when they were filming it? Uh, so right here, this is where it was filmed. This is where Steven Spielberg filmed Jurassic Park. So we're going to go right over here from here and go along the coastline right here. And we're going to play that Jurassic Park music. Na 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 Dog the Bounty Hunter house location. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. 
maybe we'll see um, what you call it. Maybe we'll see some leftover dinosaurs, T-Rex. Maybe we'll see a, G a, Jeff, a Jeff Goldblum statue with his open chest, you know. <laughs> this game is ridiculous, man. That you can go anywhere you want to go and visit. And it's so, so, like, I've never seen anything like this before. That you can do this, man. This is so crazy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to be attacked by a T Rex. Yeah, that connection error only happens when you have a bottleneck of an internet. But because I'm live streaming and streaming at the same time. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, let's make sure everything's uh let's make sure everything's good here. The flaps should be no flaps should be at 19 the trimming hold on the trim elevation i want it to be nose up a little bit more uh flaps at 19 is fine right now okay let's go here we go Everybody got their next of kin. Good. <laughs> How did you die? Attacked by a T Rex. We'll blame it on engine. Engine. This is an engine uh, plane. Here we go. Really? There being animals in the game? Like Jurassic? Like uh, T-Rex? Really? That would be cool if they do a DLC where there's a T-Rex in there. <laughs> that would be <laughs> fucking awesome. I'm going to go to Africa next. And we're going to go north. We're going to go north. Hold on. There we go. Hold on, the flaps, the flaps. Oh no! Everybody okay? Everybody alright? Hold on, we gotta do it again. We'll do this again. I don't know what happened, man. I guess I shouldn't have trimmed it too much. Nose up. I should have left it balanced. Hold on. Alright. Trimming should be neutral. Neutral. What else we got going on here? Let me see. It's neutral. The flaps. Let 
Zero. That's it. And now we go like this. I wanna I wanna get a little bit closer to the instrument so I can see. Here we go. Yeah, too much angle, you're right. My controller's all screwed up. I need a better controller. I need this is this hottest X1, it's terrible. I need like the real yoke. You know that honey honey honeycomb. That thing it's all sold out, dude. Honeycomb. No 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 no. What are you doing, Mr. 4K? Easy easy fella. I got it, I got it, I got it. Keep the attitude. Keep the attitude proper. Here we go. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Okay, I got it, 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 I got it. See where we are. Okay, let's go outside. We got to go north. This way. Uh, yes. Acknowledging. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Oh, my God. Here we go. This is it. We're going to the Jurassic Park. Third person view. There we go. Oh, I can do that from here. Uh, I forgot. I have it on my controller. Here we go, here we go. Whew. I don't like that there's too many clouds because uh looks like a storm it's coming or something dude we won't be able to see the t-rex i gotta go lower dude this is this sucks that it's raining i want to see I want to see T-Rex, man. We all want to see a T-Rex, and now we cannot see it. But it did rain, right? There was a rain when the T-Rex came out, right? So maybe this is the perfect time to see the T-Rex. It's during the rain. There we go. Let me uh, adjust my flaps a little bit to slow it down a bit. Hold on. Where's my flaps? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there's right there, right there, right there. Ah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Perfect. There we go. Right there. I want to slow it down a little bit. Do you guys hear it? Hold on. I mean, the audio. You can hear the wind. As we're flying. Do I have enough fuel? Oh my god. I hope I do. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, reduce the throttle. Hold on. Can you guys see a better view? Here. I'll give you a better view. Looks like some kind of a road down there you can take. It's north of here. Uh, we gotta go north. I made a mistake. It's north. It's north of here. Yeah, I should go a higher altitude. Cause we get we gotta go north. It's just north of here. Don't worry. We'll find it. It's just north of here. What's up, Diaz? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Hold on. I think it's north of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just north of here. Oh yeah, this is um, this has never been done before. I was just we were just talking about this. This has never been uh, done before. Uh, this type of uh, this type of a flight simulations has never been done before. That you can go anywhere you want to go in real time with the real weather, real everything. Um, Real, real scanned geography. Uh, everything's scanned, laser scanned, even the weather. Uh, and you can do all of that in photorealistic manners. This is like uh, this is groundbreaking, man. Even BBC News talked about this game. 
Well, it's not a game. I don't want to call this a game. This is really a, a simulation, a, a mimicking flight sim. This has never been... This, this is, has never been done before. You can't say this is just another flight sim. This has never been done before. This is marking in the history of 2020 that something like this has been done. It's just crazy. Let me, yeah, you're right. Hold on. You're right. My flaps should be at zero. Zero. He's right. That's my uh, DJ. He's, uh, he's my co-pilot. He's letting me know what to do. Because I don't want to run out of fuel. We're in Honolulu, one of the Hawaii islands uh, where the Jurassic Park was filmed. So we're looking for the location where Jurassic Park was filmed. And we're almost there. We got to go north. We're almost there. We're almost there, I think. We're almost there. Don't worry, guys. We're almost there. Almost there. And I think it's just right around here. Just right around here. But they were flying a helicopter. They were not flying, you know, an airplane. And they came from the sea. Like right here. They came from the sea. Uh, in the movie. So it's gonna be right over here. Right over here, hold on. Hold on. This is just bananas, man. Yes, they do have a moving vehicles. And the buses and the trucks on the highways, you can see them. There we go. Na 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 na. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go inside the cockpit. Cockpit, cockpit, cockpit. We gotta go inside a cockpit. Jurassic Park. Here we go, Jurassic Park. This is it. Uh, it kind of sucks too cloudy, man. We can't see nothing. It's just too cloudy. Let me turn my flaps on a little bit. To 29%. Slow it down a bit. Maybe we'll see uh, T-Rex around here somewhere.
Here we go. He would like to come back. All right. I'll unblock him after I uh, after I finish this. I think you're right. You, flaps are just making it more difficult. You're right. I'm wasting. F yeah, you're right. Wasting fuel. Okay, let's go outside. Um, here we go. Ten percent. Hold on. I'll put it 11. Okay. Hold on. It's north. I know it's north. It's north. It's here. Oh, it looks amazing on the shadow. Um, hold on. Let me just unblock this guy, Mamba. Um, he's coming back. We'll give him a second chance. Here we go. Uh, Mamba 45. But just, I won't be able to give you the ranch, man. I cannot give you the ranch. You know. I'm gonna unblock you, but I'm not gonna give you the ranch, Mamba. You know. That's why Cameron D is the John Wick. I'm basically uh, Cameron D, uh, Derek, and Matthew. Them three. Ah, right, here you go. That's it. People been asking me about Steven. I was like, dude. I, I, Steven needs to apologize to me, dude. Like, if he wants to come back, if Steve wants to... I mean, not Steve. Well, yeah, Steve has to apologize to me. Um, Steven H. And then, of course, James. You know. He's got to have a talk with me, like a real, real talk, before I can have him come back. Like a real talk, dude. You know. All right, he's unblocked. Tell him he's unblocked. He can come in. It's all good. Um. All right. So. All right, let's go back. Hold on. I don't like that it's so much cloud, man. Can't see nothing. It's a very crappy weather uh, in Honolulu right now. Bunch of bunch of T Rexes now running around. Welcome back, Mamba. Hold on. I think it's right over here. Oh, I see. But I find it very intriguing to to look for all these locations. I mean, really, if you got the navigational points, you can find exact location of that exact place. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Look at this, man. You get lost here. Forget it. This is the Jurassic Park.
Oh yeah, I played it on Shadow yesterday. It runs at ultra settings. At I was amazed, Mamba, that this game runs at 1080p ultra settings. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is some kind of a joke? Nope. Uh, not only do you download it faster on the Shadow because of their one gigabit uh, internet fiber optic speed, but at the same time, you can run it at ultra settings. That's a pretty big deal for a boost uh, tier to be running it at ultra settings, 1080p 60. That's insane. Go look that video that I did. Oh, here we go. This is it. Da -na 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 Where's Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> Where's Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum is somewhere down there. Na, 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 na. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that would be awesome if you can do that in a multiplayer. That would be so awesome. Look at this, this is just beautiful. Uh, you should have seen the pyramids, man. Oh my god, they look photorealistic. I think Jeff Goldblum is around here somewhere. We're gonna find him. <laughs> is it really? We can go to Rhode Island right now. There's the little opening right over here. Even the detail on the trees. Look at that. That is just bananas, bro. There's a little road that takes you to uh, the location of the movie. No, we're gonna crash. No, no, T Rex. <laughs> Let's go to the main menu. I don't know, it's like a ridiculous amount of numbers. How many airports? Well, Google it. Type in how many airports there are on the planet, and you're gonna get your answer, Matthew. <laughs> I think as many airports as they have on the planet. Now, there are certain airports, 35, 35 of them are handcrafted. They're detailed and handcrafted so accurately that it's like photorealistic. But even the ones that are not uh, handcrafted still look photorealistic, dude. Did you see the Cairo and how realistic it looks? Uh, did you see that pyramid and how realistic it looks? Uh, even if it's not handcrafted, still, I mean, it looks amazing. But I'm pretty sure they're going to handcraft every single one of those airports. I guarantee you. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I got I to gotta see what that is. What's up, Mario? Mario just missed the pyramids, man. He always misses everything, dude. 
Mario always misses all the good stuff. Well, there you go. That's how many airports there are. <laughs> I got to see what this is. Animals guide. Find them all. We'll show you how to find animals. All you need to do is grab your binoculars. Geese, grizzly bears, black bears, elephants, giraffes, flamingos. Uh, I want to find grizzly bears. Type fauna. Ah, thank you uh, for that. Uh, thank you for that. Cameron D. Welcome back to the gold, Mamba Man. Mario Looney needs to join the gold, man. It's about time. Mario's got to join. Come on, Ma. Come on, Mario. Don't be, don't go don't go cheap on me, man. Join. Become. Become the member. You should have become a member a long time ago. Let's go. No. You got to become a member if you want me to fly to Thailand, Mario. That's it. You got to become a member. <laughs> member. <laughs> this Adidas pilot, it ain't cheap. The Adidas pilot's got to make some money. The Adidas pilot's got to, you know, fill up the gas tank. Got to be able to fly to locations. All of that, you know, it's it's a lot of money involved. So Adidas captain, he needs more members. <laughs> he needs his revenue to grow. <laughs> Mamba just joined. So Mamba will be able to choose where we go look next. Probably Rhode Island after we see... Rhode Island, we go to Rhode Island after... After we find the bears. Let's go to Fauna. So this is how you find. This is basically how you find the animals. You go to the world map. You click on the world map. And then you click search. And you type in Fauna. It tells you exactly what to look for. Um, black bears. Seagulls. Um... Flamingos. Ooh, flamingos. That's nice. Let's go check out flamingos. Flamingos going to look good. Let's go check out flamingos. It's right here. Set as departure. And then set as arrival. Just set as departure. We're going to fly. And like, let's adjust the time during the day. During the day. Like this. It's going to be beautiful. And we're going to try a different airplane. I want to try something else that I haven't tried before. Uh, I want to try a different airplane. Uh, let's see. I never tried this one. How about a sea? A beach plane? Hold on. Where, do I have a beach? Do I have a beach plane? No. No, I don't. Bloody hell. We'll go with this. I haven't tried this yet. Here we go. We 
Let's go to world map and let's fly. <sighs> no, we're going to go to Rhode Island after after we see flamingos. After we see flamingos, then we go to Rhode Island. Uh, because you became a member, you became a member, you know, we're going to go to uh, Rhode Island to see the rain. It's still raining. Is it still raining? Mamba. Rhode Island. Oh, the aircraft range. Oh, so the aircraft range tells you. What does that tell you? It tells you the uh, the fuel capacity. I thought I had with the premium deluxe edition. I thought I had the uh, the seaplane to land on the sea. I thought I did. Here we go. I think you can land on the water with this one. No, 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 no. You can land. You can land on the water with this one. Easily, you can land. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to land on the water. And uh, we're going to make the water. Look at the flamingos. We're going to turn the wind speed a little bit higher so we can see the waves of the... Because when you increase the wind speed, you can get bigger waves. You know, There's a much bigger waves and all that, so... Here we go. Ready. Ready to fly. Let's go. All right, let's see where the flamingos are. Hold on. Flamingos! Where they are. They're supposed to be around here somewhere. We're going to find them. Hold on. Bloody hell. Here we go. I never thought flamingos would be here. This looked like Death Stranding. White flamingos would be here. What the fuck? I don't even know where we are. I see a car down there. Hold on. Where are the bloody flamingos? We can land on the water with this one, yes. When is 3080 coming out? Does anybody know? We're gonna land on the water. Guys, we're gonna land on the water. Wow, look at that. Where's flamingos? What's going on here? This is crazy. Look at this. Woo! Let's let's adjust a uh, wind speed. Let's adjust a wind speed. Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, adjust a wind speed. Um.
pressure. A wind layer. Look at this. You can increase even more. And even more. Look at this. Holy crap. Let's go inside the cockpit. Hold on. Look at this. I'm inside. A, dude. <laughs> it's like a boat now. Dude, it's like a boat. Look at this. It's a boat. It's like being inside a boat, man. Yeah, that's like my boat now. I'm the captain. I'm the captain of the air, and I'm the captain of the sea. Shit, man. And then you add rain. Imagine if you add the lightning and the rain. Holy shit. Imagine how bad that would be. Hold on. Let's say you do this. Let's say you put... Um, like, rain. No. Let's put... Um, storm. Look at this. And you put the lightning... And you move the temperature down. And you... Like that. And you turn the lightning on. Now check this out. That's total bananas. Look at that. Dude, if that's not real, then I don't know what is, dude. If that's not real... Look at my plane. My plane is like... Look at this, bro. Hey, where's flamingos? I don't see them. Where's the flamingos? They lied to me. They lied. Should we take off? Should we even bother? Should we even bother to take off? With this wind speed, I don't know, dude. This is crazy. All right, let's try. Let's try. This is Death Stranding. More like a sea stranding. Here we go. Come on, come on. Hey, I can sail, dude. This is crazy. I can sail. We can just go sailing. This is fucked up. Look at this, bro. Hold on. Bro, this is crazy. We can go sailing like this, bro. This is crazy. This game is just too crazy. And it's too windy now. I put so much wind here. Now it's bananas with winds. There's so much wind. Hold on. Ooh, that's a, that lightning was pretty close. I don't know where we are. Is this Iceland? Where the hell is this? Looks like Iceland to me. Jesus. Where's the animals? Where's flamingos, man? I'm so upset. I don't see any flamingos. Shit. Oh, you're talking about that interstellar wave? Oh, yeah. That shit was bananas. Bro, that shit was bananas. That movie wasn't so bad. I don't know, people, I guess people didn't understand the movie. That's why they didn't like it. I totally understood the movie. 
but a bunch of people didn't. They, they, they didn't get the movie, but it's a pretty good movie. Interstellar is actually pretty good. This is like, this has to be, um, we'll check the world map, but this has to be, where are we though? Take care, David Johnson, J David Johansson, handsome bastard, Swedish handsome bastard. <laughs> He is a Swedish handsome bastard. Yeah, th this game is just... This is pure insanity right now. We should check out the Loch Ness. Are there any, like, monsters here? Yeah, this shit is crazy, Lincoln. I mean, there's the entire world entire world to see bro there's so much to do here this is crazy go everywhere you want to go visit the planet pretty soon you can visit the moon visit the Mars Microsoft Space Simulator is coming next <laughs> oh lord This is just bananas. But the great thing about this plane is if you run out of fuel, if you run out of fuel, don't worry. Um, you can always land on the water this is bananas man holy crap Woo. where's my flaps where's my flaps 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 I'm not familiar with this one Laps, uh, hold on. Hold up a second. Here we go. Better. I shouldn't be going this way. There's too many clouds. I should go around this way. So I can land on the water. Like that. Uh. We got it, we got it. Maybe it's a volcano over here, I don't know. I don't know what's down there. Maybe a volcano. You never know. Where are we, man? Let's go this way. See what's up there. They told me that there's uh, that there's flamingos here. I couldn't find them. 
I was looking for them. I couldn't find them. I was like, what the hell? Hey, Brendan. Insane, huh? Chicago? We're going to go to Chicago right now. We're going to go to Chicago, man. We're going to go and check out the Sears Towers. We're going to check out the Gotham City. We're going to check that out for sure. You know, when you see this in 4K and HDR, I think you should buy an X Series X just for this. I think, honestly, you can showcase your OLED. I think this is the best way to showcase your OLED, your C10, and also to showcase your X Series X, X Series X, X X X X X. X. You're in a Gotham City, Brandon. You live in a, in a Gotham, D.C. You're in Gotham. That's a, that's a movie, uh, that's a city where the Dark Knight trilogy was filmed. That's what that city is, Gotham, Chicago. This, is, this game is just pure insanity here cool oh I forgot to go to hold on Brandon my bad first I gotta go to Rhode Island and after Rhode Island we're gonna go to Chicago all right but first but first we gotta go to Rhode Island because Mamba wants me to go to Rhode Island and after Rhode Island, we're going to go to Chicago. Look at the Gotham City. Let me just land on the lake here. I don't want to crash. I just want to land on the lake. Right here. I want to land on the lake. Flaps for landing. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let me just land and then we're going to go to, um, where is it? Rhode Island and from Rhode Island, we're going to check Chicago. All right, let's land over here slowly. Easy does it. Here we go. Ah, I crashed like a jackass. <laughs> oh my goodness adidas has crashed captain adidas hold on captain adidas i'm playing on my 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 hot ass x1 right here my hot ass see hot ass hot ass x1 See this? This big giant dildo. See? It looks like an alien. You know, like the little alien that comes out of the, the burst out of the chest. <laughs> Alright. 
all right, all right. Enough screwing around. Let's uh, let's get the show on the road. Let's go to the main menu. We gotta go to Rhode Island. Mamba came back, and Mamba became a member. Mamba's a good guy. I overreacted a little bit, so my apologies to Mamba. Uh, he probably wasn't there. He was somewhere else, and he didn't get a chance to take out the trash. But listen, man, this whole thing about... Uh, listen, Rich is right. Um, he's right. That beautiful, bold, handsome bastard. Rich is right. Like, what is the point, dude? Uh, you're just wasting oxygen. You're just wasting time. Just ignore them. Remove them. Don't, don't pay attention to them. Think of them as Napoleon cardboards. I mean, what is the point? You know, that's exactly what they want. Don't give them any attention. You know, it is really a waste of oxygen. It's really kind of stupid, honestly. It is retarded to, to even give them ounce of oxygen. It's just retarded. You know, it's stupid. And he's right. He's right. Anyway. Let's go to Rhode Island. Oh my God! We went all the way down. We were here, close to North. Dude, there's a South Pole. Oh my God! We were like way down below, man. Way down below, cold. Uh, so we're going to Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Where's the Rhode Island? Where is it? 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 I gotta type in Rhode Island. Hey Mamba, do you know uh, which uh, which call sign is it for Rhode Island? Of course, we're brothers forever, dude. You know, it's just sometimes sometimes we uh, we have our bad days and good days. We were on our bad day. That was my bad day, you know. But then you got the bullshitters. You got the ones that just come in to, to bullshit and they never got the, nothing to show for it, you know, for years and years, just, just writing a freeload cocktail, you know, come on, you know, um, to, to truly show appreciation is, you, you know, you show something in return, you know, it's like, come on, I'm not interested in bullshitters, man, you know, just talk to talk and coming here for entertainment i'm nobody's clown man you know if you want to appreciate what i do we'll show for it how do you do it two dollars a month it's not that big of a deal you know that's how you show your appreciation because if you don't show your appreciation then you show me exactly who you are so you can joke all you want you already showed me who you are and i'm blessed to be able to see who you are Hey, you know who you are. I don't need to singly... Listen, I don't have to point fingers and say who you are. You know who you are. As soon as I talk about this, you can feel it. You know who you are. All right? I'm blessed to be able to, to singly point out... I don't have to point out. You already know who you are. I don't have to say a goddamn thing. You already know who you are. But anyway, I don't have time for bullshit, guys. I've been doing this for seven years. I don't need fake people, fake, uh, fake friends... Or, or fake supporters, you know. The airport, it's KPVD. Let's go. KPVD. KPVD. Theater, Francis. So this is it, right? This is it. Set as departure. And uh, we'll go to, I guess, we can go to New York City, right? Oh, it's too far. Rhode Island. There we go. We'll go to uh what is this? New New Bedford. It gets so cold here, dude. New Bedford in, in Mamba, it gets so cold where you at in January. I can only imagine. Here we go. And then 
Gamerman, Brendan, I need you to show me, uh, give me the code name for uh, Chicago International, Chicago Airport. If you can. Because this way I can find it easier. You know, another interesting thing about this flight simulator, when you check your flight log, it records every place that you visited. It's being recorded on a Azure server on the cloud. And it tells you uh, exactly where you've been. So if you want to fly to those same areas, you can easily just go to the flight log and you can easily access those previous uh, places that you visited. So that's kind of cool. Either that way you don't have to search and look for it. it. It tells you exactly where you've been in the past. And you can go ahead and you can fly to that same exact location, you know. Ah, you're welcome, sportsman. My pleasure. Seven eight seven. I can barely fly a Cessna, dude. Seven eight seven would be a nightmare for me. Uh, seven eight seven is if like uh, if I want to do, let's say, Chicago to Los Angeles, right? Like a longer flight with more fuel. But man, those airplanes are difficult. Hey, look, it's raining. It's raining. You were right. A lot of rain out in uh, in Rhode Island. Oh my God! Wait, is this a live weather? No, no, hold on a second. I need to make sure that's a live weather. Is it live? No, 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 no. It's not. Wait, it needs to be live. It is raining. He's right, and it's a sunset like this right now. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that's that's a long haul. That's like if you want to go from from JFK to uh, London or from JFK to uh, Germany or something like that or Paris, like JFK New York to Paris. Definitely, you're gonna use seven eight seven. Uh, I guess you could use the seven eight seven from Chicago to LA if you want to. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt you. All right, here we go. But I just, I'll, I'll probably crash, man. I mean, I could try it if you want to, but I'll probably crash. But we have to go to Chicago first. After this, we have to go to Chicago. Here we go. Hey, Derek. O'Hare International Airport. Hold on. All right, so this is a Mamba's Man uh, place right here. We're at the Mamba's Man place. This is where he lives. It's cord. Thank you, Mamba. Mamba knows this shit. Let me tell you something, man. Mamba's gonna be a pilot. You don't understand, guys. You do not understand. He's gonna be a pilot. He knows. He knows this better. He did some research. 
he knows these airports by name, dude. Core, right? Where is it? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Derek. Derek, you sh you missed the um, the pyramid when I was uh, flying over the pyramid. So somewhere around here, Mamba lives. <laughs> somewhere around here. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me acknowledge this really quick. Hold on. Fine. Alright, I got it, I got it. Providence Tower Icon Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra for touch and go. Providence Airport Information Uniform 2200. I think he's here somewhere. Mamba, where are we going, Mamba? Where's where's your where's your address, bro? Oh next city over, next city over. Oh shit. Oh, you missed it. Oh, my God. I guess I can show it to you again later on. It was so unbelievable, man. You have no idea, man. It was so real. It was like real. Like real. Photoristic re uh, photo photorealistic erection, basically. <laughs> Can this highway take me to the next city, Mamba? If I follow this highway, is it gonna take me to um to your city where you live, Cranston? Hold on. Hold on a second, guys. Cranston, Cranston. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on. Where's Cranston? Which one is the Cranston? Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Zoom in, zoom out. The Cranston, is it here? Oh, exit back here. So it's over here, right? Oh. Oh, Cairo looks unbelievable. It's a big city, dude. It's huge. It's juggernaut of a city. So wait, which exit is it? Is it this exit? This where you live, right here? Hold on. Mamba lives around here somewhere. <laughs> Southwest of me. Hold on, I can't see it. Wait a minute. Uh. Southwest of me. All right, southwest. So I gotta turn around. I gotta make a loop over here. Southwest. We're gonna find where Mamba lives. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna find out which house he's in. <laughs> You probably re you know this neighborhood. You remember this, Mumbai? Does it look familiar? Hold on, I gotta get my flaps. Wait a minute. Where's my flaps? 
Here we go. Oh, don't worry. We're going to find out where Mamba. What is the stadium over here, Mamba? Is this where you play football? There's a stadium over here. It said Southwest, Southwest, Southwest. Mamba has to live here somewhere, dude. It looks like a Mamba's house. For sure. <laughs> We're looking for Mamba's house. <laughs> Southwest. He's probably giving us the wrong directions. Mamba's like, nah, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live. <laughs> this is a hunt for Mamba. <laughs> Mamba man 45 hunt. <laughs> this is a man hunt right now. Everybody's, look, all these trucks, they're looking for him. <laughs> Oh Lord, where are you? Which which exit here? Oh my God, Mamba! It's gonna be dark soon. It's gonna get so dark soon. Hold on. Hold on a second. Theodore Francis Green State. You know what that is? Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh. Come on, Mamba, which house? You gotta tell us which house. One of these houses I know he's in. <laughs> oh, that's the airport I took from. Mamba is here somewhere. Road he's on this lake. Mamba is on this lake, I'm telling you. Oh my god. Southwest, he says. Southwest. So he's gotta be over here somewhere. This is actually a nice neighborhood. It's actually pretty nice over here. There's a baseball uh, field over here. Southwest. What's the name of the city? Canton. Hold on. Let me see. Is this it? Right here? I totally forgot that game is out, man. That PGA Tour, I gotta check it out. I don't know if, uh, do you see anything? Cranston. It's a green state I already got from there. Um, hold on. Wait, we can do it differently. Hold on. We can do this. We can, um, can we check the map? 
Wait a minute. Uh, no, we got to go back. Hold on. Uh, um, Cranston, Cranston, Cranston. All right, there's the map over here. Um, does this help? A little maybe bigger? Um, hold on. Wait a minute. So, all right, Mamba, help me out here. Where are we going? Are we supposed to go left, right? Mamba even doesn't know <laughs> where where he's located. <laughs> I need to go south. All right, now we're talking. Oh lord, we gotta go south. Hold on. We gotta go south. Hold up! Hold up! Yes, I, I heard it. So we So we got to go south, he says. Mamba says we got to go south. It's around here somewhere uh south. All right. Uh So we got to go south. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Put this over here. Hold on. We're going south. Right here. All right, let's close this down. Put this over here. Hold on, hold on, hold up. So it's going, but then we, I thought we got from this, uh, from this airport, we uh, took off, but I see what you mean. We were going north. Let me get my flaps. Hold on. Flaps. Are, there we go. That's better. Ah, uh, we got a little bit, a little bit. Closer, a little bit higher. Uh. All right.
Hey, um, Mamba. So it's south. Is it past the theater, Francis Green State? What is it? Some kind of a jail? <laughs> Dude, we just went over the jail. Some penitentiary. Ah, Mamba doesn't want to give me his location. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's insane. But sadly, I crashed. Hold on. Now he's saying it's west. Oh my god. Mamba, you're killing me. There we go. <laughs> By the time we find where Mamba lives, we're gonna crash. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, wait a minute. How many airports they got over here? Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, no, hold on. It's west, west, west. Hold on. We're going west. It's going to be dark pretty soon, man. By the time we get to Mamba's house, it's going to be dark. Everybody's... Look. What is this? I thought it was a COVID-19 situation. Everybody's driving. Everybody's partying. Dude. What's going on over here? I thought people were supposed to be locked up <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. That was not cool. Come on, Sonny. I could have landed on that jail. <laughs> or are we going west? Hold on. Wait, restore. Let me just close it. All right, let's look at the map. Mamba. Mamba, where are we going, dude? This is your place. Hold on. My God, Mamba. Where's Karsten? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh lord. It's gotta be here. It has to be here somewhere. Mumbo lives in a forest. Mumbo lives in a forest of here with a satellite internet. <laughs> oh god. This is the road that goes to Mamba's house. <laughs> Uh, Africa, yeah, we could go to Africa for sure. All right, Mamba has to live here somewhere. I'm telling you. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land on a lake. All right, I'm gonna, there's a lake over here, and we're gonna try to figure out where Mamba is. Let's do this. We're gonna do this, we're gonna land on the lake. We'll bring the flaps down. Let's come on, come on, Mamba. 
think he's next he's around this lake now nah, we'll do with the lake this is a seaplane as well so there's a lake over there we're gonna land on that lake it's called the mamba lake <laughs> that's where he is <laughs> he's gonna pick us up on the boat hold on here we go this is it the lake right over here Here we go. Wish me luck, everyone. Mamba's around here somewhere. He's got a house on the lake somewhere, dude. I'm telling you. Here we go. Mom bites around here somewhere, I think. He probably lives around here somewhere. He has to live around here somewhere, I think. Ma Mamba. That's me and Mamba in there. And we're like trying to figure out Mamba can remember where his house is. <laughs> Mamba's like, I know I used to live here somewhere. <laughs> hey, do you remember anything like this? Where you live at? Mamba, like the lakes and stuff. Neil Cockman's around here. Hey, look out your window, Mamba. Is the weather like this? Seriously. Look out your window. Is the weather like this? It's probably like this. Look out your window, Mamba. <laughs> Alright, where do we go now? Now we gotta go to Chicago. <laughs> I think he lives right over here somewhere. <laughs> right over there. Now let's explore this lake. Hold on. Since we're here... We can explore this lake a little bit. We can explore this lake. Uh, you know. Why not? Let's uh let's let's explore it. Maybe we'll find something in this lake. You never know. There might be something here. I put my flaps on purpose so that way I don't go too fast. Come on, Mamba. I know you got a house around here somewhere. <laughs> Mamba came back, yes. But he's very elusive. We cannot find his house. His house is... It's hidden somewhere, man. 
<laughs> it's just like it's a one big mystery it's a phenomena i mean none of us can seem to find oh look we're taking off oh lord can we go from here to chicago i don't have enough fuel i don't could i i guess i could but i don't think i have enough fuel to to make it Lake Placid. Yeah, we should definitely go to Lake Placid for sure. This this game, it's so addictive. This is crazy. Um, I don't recommend that you play this on the OLED. You're going to have a burn-in. 100% you're going to... You will get the burn-in with this game. Because once you start playing this on the OLED, uh, you're never going to stop. Now, let's turn off the flaps. This is what uh, the Swedish handsome bastard told me. Hold on. Hold on. No, I'm going to crash. It's too late now. No, I got it. I got it. It's all good. It's all good, fellas. We're not going to crash. Let's look at our attitude. Our attitude should be even up. Where's my lights? Turn the lights on going on let's lights not working hold on what do you mean slight lights not working should work should be right over here all right hold on uh it would be a too much of a stretch to fly from here to chicago dude I think Mamba's around here somewhere. I think it's right over here, dude. He's got to be right here. He's got to be around here somewhere, dude. I'm telling you. All right, we're going to go to Chicago next. After Chicago, we go to Lake Placid because that's how it should be. You guys are my members. Um, guys, I know a lot of you are requesting for me to go here, for me to go there. But imagine if you go to an airliners and tell them, please take me here, take me there. And they say, well, why don't you purchase a ticket? Um, now, I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but the members are first come, first serve members. Members are priority. So that means if the member requests for me to go somewhere, I have to do it for the members. You know, I cannot do it for just random people coming in here. I know you say, please, I understand that. I get that. But you got to remember, um, members are members. They're paying monthly subscription. So why should, you, why should I do it for you who just got here? I probably hit a dislike. And then uh, not do it for the member who hit a like and who's also subscribed and who's paying $2, $3 a month. So we have to be fair. So exactly i explained that cameron to everybody so they understand um so here's what we're gonna do chicago we're gonna do chicago next because um brendan asked for chicago we'll check out the gotham city and then we're gonna go to lake placid because lake placid derek wanted to see lake placid so we'll go to whiteface mountain go around the whiteface mountain um Go down to the main street and stuff like that. Yeah. I think that's fair. I, that's nothing me being rude. I think that's just fair. It would be unfair and rude for me if I totally ignored my members. And they're going to say, well, why am I a member? You know. So. Thank you, old man. All right. Let's exit this. We couldn't find Mamba. He's elusive. <laughs> we cannot find them so let's go let's go to chicago oh chicago is gonna be so good the sears towers uh downtown chicago where the uh the 18 wheeler flipped in downtown chicago where they filmed the uh, the dark knight the dark knight was filmed entirely in chicago batman begins was filmed entirely in chicago well, not entirely, but a pretty good amount of scenes. But Dark Knight was entirely... I think Dark Knight was entirely in Chicago, dude. Uh, Batman Begins. 
Uh, sure, they filmed some scenes in Chicago, but uh, they had to go to like um, Iceland and some other parts to film other scenes. But Dark Knight was 100% old Chicago. So we're going to go to Chicago. Let's go. Chicago, Chicago. I should be able to find Chicago. Uh, I should, uh, really, pfft. anybody can find Chicago. It's not that difficult. I mean, come on. <laughs> Here we go. That's right. Set his departure. And then set. Uh, we'll go to Aurora here. Set as uh, arrival. And let's go. Let's do this. Oh. Okay, Derek. But where do you want to go next? Did you say Africa? Like you were mentioning something. Oh, Egypt. You want to see Egypt again? Or do you want to go to see um, like Africa? Like, Just let me know where you want to go. Chicago, then Lake Placid. Okay. You can do that too. Mars. <laughs> go to Mars. <laughs> Mamba lives in Mars. I knew it. I knew it. He was a reptilian. Mamba was a reptilian. Mamba, it's reptilian. I knew it. I should have known. <laughs> he lives in Mars. Speaking of Mamba, um, the NBA 2K, NBA 2K, 2K1 is coming out pretty soon. Dude, there's tons of games coming out, guys. Look how many games there are. This is insane. PGA Tour, it's already out. UFC, I still have Snake uh, Pliskin, Pliskin Russell on UFC 4. Madden 21, it's already out on, on a free trial. Uh, pff, we have to do some Madden tomorrow. And then we've got, what else we got? We got uh, Avengers, open beta for everyone. And Avengers are coming out September 1st for all of you who pre-ordered the uh, Deluxe Edition and... Uh, exclusive digital edition and all that premium extra editions it's and then nba 2k 2k1 and then project cars 3 project cars 3 there's so many games coming out no they're, they're not that bad they're not that bad uh, considering how of a juggernaut big this game is it's not that bad believe me Not that bad at all, man. I've seen games that are like 10 gigabytes long and they have lo longer loading times. <laughs> this is understandable because this is a juggernaut. This is, not a, this is not a video game. This is not a video game. This is you're mimicking. This is a software that it's mimicking real life in a digital world. Think about that. This is a software that it's mimicking real life in a digital world and this has never been done before guys we have never seen anything closely remotely something like this in the past oh my god mamba you mean on a pc I have a EA Access Premiere. Well, depends on their uh, PC rig. Depends on their internet. Depends on what type of uh, settings they have implemented. It really depends. Everyone has a different PC rig. Everyone has a different type of uh, internet. Everyone's setup is different. Even your internet, it's different. Uh, so everyone will have a different experience, you know. Oh, but you got to remember, uh, you are using a uh, data, one, parater one paraterabytes. You're using a data from Azure. And uh, depending on the server, because they have to communicate with the server. You got to remember, they have to load up everything. They have to load up the entire thing uh, from the Azure, 
for you to to see all of this you know and that can take time so it's not just your pc that it's loading the 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 software it's also you're connecting to to azure servers to load all this data to render all of this data that can take time too I haven't got a chance to adjust it. I was busy. But I still want my $120 back. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I want to I want, once I get my $120 back, then I'll say, "Okay, the game is great." <laughs> Here we go, guys. You guys ready for this? This is it. This is it, fellas. Here we go. This is a Forza. Forza 8. All right. Ma uh, where, hold on. Where is... Uh, not Mamba. Where is... Uh, Brandon. Brandon. This is for you, Brandon. Here we go. Hey, where are we going after this? Africa? Where? This is it. Get ready. Get ready, my friend. Look, there's another airplane landing over there. We're going to Chicago. We'll find Chicago, don't worry. Chicago is probably over here on the other side. I will find it. Don't worry. We'll find Chicago. We'll find. We will find it. Don't worry. It's around here somewhere. I know. Batman have told me. If you want the Gotham, it's in Chicago. Here we go. Mm -mm. It's sunny in Chicago. Is it really sunny? Hey, look out your window, uh, Ma I mean, uh, Brendan. Is it sunny? Is it nice outside? Oh my God, this is Chicago. This is, this is bananas. <gasps> I think it's over here somewhere. We'll find it. We'll find the downtown, I guarantee you. We will find it. Hold on. Let me check my flaps. My flaps. They're balanced. Icon X -ray Golf Sierra, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Don't worry about it. I know I'm changing it. Why he wants me to answer? Hold on. Tower Icon Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra frequency change. I got it. Leave it there. Hold on. We'll find it. It's 87 and sunny. Well, there you go. It's 87 and sunny. I think it's down here, right?
downtown downtown new batman game it's it's sunny in gotham it is very it was actually there were some sunny scenes in uh in the dark night i think this highway will take us to downtown chicago i think we'll be all right we don't want to go in this rain there's a lot of rain over here so we'll follow the highway it will take us to that lake was the lake michigan or what's it called Don't worry, we'll find it. We'll find him and will he will squeal. <laughs> Here we go. Oh shit. Hold on, take off. Oh. Southeast? Southeast? I think we're getting there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe I should follow this highway over here. Hold up. Don't worry. I'll check it out right now. Um, southeast, so it's this way. We gotta go around. We gotta go around. Southeast. Southeast. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta turn around. I think I was going the right direction, my bad. It is southeast. Hold on. Here we go. Southeast. And here we go. I got my flaps down, so it's all good. I gotta go a little bit lower. I think this highway, right? Can this highway take us there? I think it will. Right here. This highway. Most likely will take us there. Um. Hold on. You don't need this mouse. Here comes the Batman. The Batman. Where are you? Harvey Dent. Ah, there it is. I see it now. I see the downtown Gotham. It's right over there. I see it. I got it.
Hold on. Hold on. There it is. There's the Gotham. Gotham City. There it is. Gotham City. Batman. There he is, flying like a bat. Oh, it's super far. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I didn't know either, but damn. It's, it's definitely far. Super far. Yeah, it is super far, dude. You ain't kidding. You gotta go on that highway, whatever this highway is. You gotta go on that highway. It's gonna take you about 25 minutes. What? What? More than that. 40 minutes. Holy shit, man. That'll take you a long time to get there. Well, Chicago's a big city. I mean, Jesus. It's a big city. Yeah. Let's go a little bit lower. Let's check out the traffic. Traffic report. Seems to be pretty good. No traffic. Seems very clear. That seems to be good. Look at that guy. He was changing the lanes without giving a signal light. It's crazy. Don't change lanes without single. I hate those, those bastards. When they when they change the lane without giving a signal light, that just drives me crazy. So it's sunny outside, right, Brendan? This is exactly how it is right now. It's sunny, right? Sunny outside. That's crazy. This is exactly what Brendan was just saying. It's exactly sunny outside. It's like this, scattered clouds. Uh, that's amazing, dude. This, is, this game is just... We have never seen anything like this before. This was, this was first time in history. 2020 will mark the down first time in history that, that something like this, it's, uh, that it's available. There's the Sears Towers. They are right there. We're going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to put the flaps down to slow it down a little bit. Uh, where's my flaps? All right over here. Hold on. That's fine. I don't have to. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Excuse me. I'm going to just slow it down a little bit. Like that. Because I want to be able to see Gotham City. I haven't been here in a while. Since 2008. It looks like a Gotham City. You know what? Chicago is Gotham. Look at how it's built. It looks like a Gotham. Like a big fortress or some shit. It is a Gotham city. And it's a dangerous city. But that's why it's a Gotham city. You need a Batman. You need a Batman and Joker. Chaos.
I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I hope Brandon is enjoying it. I know Brandon is enjoying it. It's like, this is so cool, right? He's visiting my hometown. There you go. That's the big hometown you got, Brandon. It's a, it's a juggernaut of a hometown. <laughs> There's a Chicago right here. Oh no. They closed it down? Ah. Sears Towers, there they are right there. We'll go outside a little bit. Look at Chicago from outside. Dark Knight. There's that building, dude. There's that building. Dark Knight. Oh, my God. There's that building. Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. When they when they have that rope connected, that's insane. Hold on. Batman, where are you, Batman? I know you are here. I know a squealer when I see one. Come on, Batman. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Look at this city, man. It's a fucking juggernaut of a city. This is insane, dude. Don't crash. Now is not a good time to crash. Good lord, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. <sighs> Damn, dude. Hold on, we gotta take another turn. I'll take another turn here simply wow man beyond wow let me make a let me make a turn over here let me make a turn and then I'll show you down below just want to make a quick turn over here quick turn over here and yeah like this like this, like this, like this, like this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, here we go. Look at this city, man. Gotham. Gotham City. It's crazy. This is crazy, dude. This truly is insane. Jesus Christ. Don't sink. Don't sink. 
No! Don't sink! Oh my lord! May Lord have mercy. Don't sink! Don't sink! Just hang in there. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Wow, Bank of Chicago, yeah. It's a huge ass city, man. There's that building. There's that building. In a dark night. There it is. This is just bananas. Oh look, there's a ship over here. There is that ship that he wanted to blow up. Oh, there's that building where uh, he flipped the truck. It's right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's that, that building right over there. Hold on. And there's that ship. Let's go check out. Let's go land over here. I tell you what. I want to look at Chicago. I want to land. I want to look at Chicago like this. I want to land on the, on the sea. Come on. Wow, look at this. Hold up. This game is just bananas, bro. It's not a game. This is a uh, real life mimic into a digital world. This is just fucking crazy, man. I mean, look at this, bro. It's a huge city, man. Just a juggernaut of a city. Let me get a little bit closer. Hold on. I want to get a little bit closer. Hold on.
Hold up. That's where I landed. This is crazy, dude. So, where are we going now? Crazy, dude. I mean, you saw how realistic that is. I don't know how how much more realistic can it get. I mean, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, there you go, Brandon. I hope you enjoyed it. Hold on. What about Derek? Derek said he wants to go to um, Africa. I think he said Africa. I don't know. Let's see what the Derek says. He says he might want to go to Africa. I don't know. Africa. Yeah, this game is just a pure bananas, bro. The shit is insane. Yes, Cameron D. That's right. I don't know if uh, if Derek's still here. Uh, Niagara Falls or Tokyo? Um, I'll let you choose. What do you want, Derek? What's more desirable to you, Tokyo or Niagara Falls? You just let me know, because um, it's you. You gotta choose. <laughs> no, you you gotta choose, uh, Derek. It's not me. It's you. You gotta choose. You have to pick one. You're welcome, Brendan. You're my member. Of course, I'm gonna fly over Chicago if you, uh, you know. <laughs> Chicago, it's a dude. It's a huge city, man. It's a juggernaut of a city. It's just, I didn't realize how big Chicago is, man. It's a fucking juggernaut. Flip a coin. All right. Head or tails? Head, I lose. Tails, I still lose. Fakely. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> We're going to Tokyo. All right, let's go to Tokyo. Tokyo. There it is right there. Set his departure. And we'll do it as a... Uh, we'll go to... Uh, Osaka. As our arrival. And we're going to do it. During the day, so you guys can see it during the day. You know, I want you guys to see it in the morning, eleven twenty or about ten thirty. There you go. There we go. I got it. All good. Oh, look at that! I can invite players. Live traffic. Wow, they got the uh, the live traffic, dude. Look at that. Live traffic, cool. Damn. Multiplayer, live players. I want to see other players. 
Lie weather. Let's go. Now, actually, that's fine. I don't want people coming in. I just want to leave a live traffic on. I don't want some idiots coming in, but uh, let's go. Let's fly. Here we go. I mean, eventually I'll try the multiplayer, you know, down the road. But right now, you know, you don't know. There could be some jackasses flying the airplane, crashing into you and shit like that. As always, you know, people are going to do stupid shit. If you give them the opportunity to do a stupid shit, they'll do it. <laughs> well, I've been streaming for six hours. Dude, six hours just went by like... Like that, man. What can I say about flight simulator? This shit is stunning. This is like photorealism erection, big time. Do 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 do. So, what do you guys think? This game sucks. I still can't believe that you can play it on Shadow. I'm like, really? I couldn't believe it yesterday. I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. And it works really good with a um, with a Google Stadia controller. My only complaint is, I have no complaint. I was thinking about, is there any complaints? No. I'm trying to find like um, any complaint. No, there's no complaints so far. Actually, this is my fault because I need a proper controller. I need a Honeycomb uh, Cessna controller. You know, that Cessna wheel. That yoke, you know, dual yoke. That's what I need. That's what I should have in order for me to properly fly. Because it's like Gamer Muscle says... Uh, the, and Squirrel and Gamer Muscles, those flight simulator guys on YouTube. Having a outstanding controller, that's where you're truly going to be enjoying this game. And having that perfect dead zone and responsiveness, that's what you're looking for. And that Honeycomb, man, it's sold out. I wish... I know why it's sold out, because of this game. If you go on Amazon right now... That shit is sold out. And it says we don't know if we're going to get it or if we're ever going to get it. And I was so depressed when I read that. I said, what? They said they don't know if they're going to get it or if they're ever going to get it back in stock. So that means you got to go to the stupid eBay and, and pay arm and leg. And I hate that shit. There's some other options. There's uh, Logitech. Uh... There's some other options, you know, Logitech has one as well. You know, so I have to look into it. I got to see what they have. I got to see what type of uh, controllers do they have. Here we go. Tokyo. Tokyo. It's raining in Tokyo. That's great. That's great. It's raining in Tokyo. Yusuf, I think you're good with a standard edition, honestly. You can fly any way you want to fly with a standard edition. And you got enough airplanes for you to, to fly whatever you want to fly. Um, Premium Deluxe, it's really for a hardcore 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 flight sim who wants to have a little extra airplanes and little extra detailed airports but with a standard edition i think you're still good man you're not missing out anything uh you're not missing out like a big deal so standard edition it's fine in my opinion honestly now if you're one of those guys who's like uh um 
dirty, dirty, dirty uh, hardcore flight simulator, like a dirty hardcore flight simulator, and you gotta have everything and you don't care, like filthy, filthy hardcore simulator, then yeah, you're gonna go with 120 bucks, but, but, it's not like a drastic, drastic, you gotta have it kind of a difference. It might be to a hardcore, filthy, filthy, filthy flight simulator, but for a casual flight sim like you and I, I yes, you get this. Air, yeah, okay, so you you know, you're not gonna get this airplane. I know it sucks. You're not gonna have this airplane. You're not gonna have the other airplane, the one that I showed you, the bombardier. Uh, so you're missing some airplanes, and you're also missing some handcrafted realistically detailed airports like 10 of them and you're also missing 10 air uh, 10 airports handcrafted highly detailed and 10 airplanes highly detailed as well if that's a big deal to you uh, goes go for the 120 if not i think with a standard you still can go wherever you want to go you can still do what you want to do um i think you're i mean i don't know i think you're all right It's $120, man. Uh, I look, I like this airplane. Th these airplanes are pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. I like them. But they're, you know, $120 is like, uh, But no, really think about it. Think about how much you pay on the X plane to buy an airplane. How much you pay on the old Microsoft Fly Simulator to buy an airplane. I think it's worth it, $120. When you think about the value as to how much you have to pay just for one single airplane, which is like $17 for one airplane and then $20, $25 for an airport, I think there is a value that you're definitely getting a good value. You're getting 20 extra uh, items included, 20 extra DLCs included. So I think 120 is definitely worth it. Uh, but only if you are like a filthy 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 hardcore flight simulator if you're not a filthy hardcore flight simulator then it doesn't really matter you know anywho let's go to tokyo we're in tokyo and wish me luck fellas we're in tokyo this is lamborghini <coughs> this is my lamborghini machine it looks like i'm in a in a tesla car or some shit Imagine this shit in virtual reality. Ugh. All right, here we go, fellas. You can either buy a $60 version or you can buy a $1 uh, subscription, a free trial of uh game pass you can try out the game pass ultimate you can this is included in game pass ultimate so you can try that out you can do that you know all right derek it's here with me you can see a reflection you see a reflection of the console you can see it on there, there it is. Here we go, Tokyo. No, I've never been to Tokyo, so I have no idea which way to go. <laughs> Look, there's a rainbow. Look, a rainbow. No, I think this is downtown Tokyo right here. Yep, there's a rainbow right there on the Tokyo.
There it is. Tokyo. I've never been to Tokyo, so this is all new to me. Hold on. Oh, there he is. Sorry about that. I'll leave it here. Tokyo Tower Icon Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra continue for West Departure. So this is Tokyo. I don't know. I mean, we can look at it. We can examine it. Um, I'm not sure exactly... I'm not sure exactly where this is, but uh, somewhere in Tokyo. In Tokyo? Somewhere in Tokyo. Oh, there's something over there. It looks maybe that's a downtown. I don't know. I've never been to Tokyo, so this is like uh It's interesting to to look at Tokyo like this. Um, um Maybe I could go lower. I look at Tokyo maybe a little bit lower. Probably tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. Maybe I'll get up early tomorrow for some of you guys on uh, European um, time zone. Hold on. Say again. Here we go. I shut off the radio. Tokyo seems like a nice, nice town, though. But it's pretty big, man. Tokyo is pretty big. Look at this. It's pretty big, man. Is that raining? It is raining. Holy shit. This is for Derek. I'm just showing the uh, Tokyo for Derek. So you can see it. Check it out himself. Oh, there's a highway over here. Hold on. I will take it somewhere. It's a big city. I mean, definitely a big city for sure.
<laughs> That's what he says, Tokyo. It says Tokyo International Airport. Why, is there like some kind of... Uh, I don't think Tokyo has... Oh, hold on. There's something over here. There's to, there's the downtown Tokyo. Over there. Downtown Tokyo. There it is. Over there. There it is. Oh, Yokohama. Tower. Yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the uh, downtown Tokyo. Over there. Look how far the downtown is. Holy shit, man. It's like Chicago, right? O'Hara Airport is like so far away, man. But that's because Chicago is right next to a uh, lake, Lake Michigan. No Mount Fuji either. That's true. Maybe this is not Tokyo, dude. Yokohama. <laughs> what the fuck? Now let's let's fly by a little bit. Let's see. Um, yeah, it is a bit sketchy. I think, yeah, but I don't see the um, Mount Fuji. Uh, Maybe because it's cloudy. Hey, Mamba, can you find the coordinations for Mount Fuji? Um, oh, there's the city. But let's have, it's a huge city, man. No, look, that's just the downtown. Tokyo's huge. That's just the downtown. Dude, Tokyo, I just realized Tokyo's huge. It's a huge ass city, man. Look at this. I, forget the downtown. Look at the suburbs. It's juggernaut. Yeah, Yokohama. There it is. It's a huge ass city. I mean, huge. Tokyo's huge. You know what it is? The first time you land somewhere, they usually land you somewhere else. <laughs> And then you're like, what? This doesn't look like the Tokyo I remember. We'll find the Fuji. Uh, we'll find the Fuji Mountains. It's got to be here. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. If, I wish that it wasn't cloudy, that it wasn't raining, but it is. Yokohama. Yeah, this is it. This is Tokyo right there. There is that tower, right? They have that Eiffel Tower as well. Oh, not the Eiffel Tower. There's something else. They have it on there. Yeah, this is Tokyo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But where's the Fuji Mountain? Where's the Fuji Mountain? Man? I don't see it. What the hell? Oh, 35, 36, north. Oh, I see it. Hold on. I think I see a Fuji down there. Ah, oh, the hell is the Fuji? Oh, this is not Tokyo. Oh, dude, we're in the wrong place. How far is the Tokyo? Yokohama. How far is the Tokyo from here? But even this town is pretty big, man. Even Yokohama is huge, bro. Look at it. Even Yokohama is fucking huge. For real. Look at that. Fuji Tower. <laughs> oh, 
lord. We are lost. We're lost in Tokyo. We're lost in Japan. <laughs> We're lost in Japan, bro. Uh, so, it has to be north, right? So, we got to go north. Northeast. We'll find a Fuji. Fuji, show yourself. Fuji! This is all Hideo Kojima's fault. We can't find a Fuji. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. But I tell you, Yokohama is a beautiful city too. I don't care what anybody says. Yokohama is a beautiful city. Look how futuristic it looks. Forget Tokyo. Yokohama is huge too. Hell yeah. Hold on. Let me grab uh, uh, to uh, Fuji Mountains hiding. Fuji hasn't erupted yet. <laughs> Fuji is hiding. <laughs> Hold on. This is crazy, dude. This is the outer limits, twilight zone. We can't find Fuji. Jesus Christ. I want my Fuji. I want my Fuji. Where is my Fuji? <laughs> This is so crazy, dude. Oh, uh, shit. We did. I thought I thought I did on the map, man. This is Tokyo International. When you pull up a map right over here, uh, that's what it showed up. Hold on. Hmm. Isn't Tokyo on this side? Dude, I hope we're not in North Korea, dude. <laughs> 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 we accidentally ended up in North Korea. <laughs> Dennis Rodman's out there waiting for us. <laughs> All right, we got we gotta we gotta do this again, man. This sounds wrong here. Uh, the Fuji Mountain <laughs> has disappeared. <laughs> the Fuji has disappeared. Oh God! Wait a minute. Let's. Uh, Let's go back. Uh, I don't know how to do that yet. Honestly. Because uh, every airplane is different. I guess you can. But I got to learn how to do that. And it's difficult to learn that while you're flying. You got to do that when you are landing. Like when you land, then you got to go inside. It's it's You shouldn't be doing it when you're flying. That's something I got to do when I'm, land, when I'm landed. On the ground and then I can look into the instruments and put the coordinations you know but uh, here it says Tokyo right here dude Tokyo International bro it's right here dude Tokyo sky tree national diet building Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Dude, it's, it was right here. Dude, this is it. Hold on. Oh, we went this way, dude. We should have gone this way. Okay, so let's go again. Set his departure. 
and then set Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building will set as our arrival. So we got to go, let me see. We got to go straight here north. Let's go. Yeah. But man, Yokohama is pretty big too, bro. That's like the next to Tokyo. Yokohama is... But still, how come we didn't see Fuji? Like, what the hell? Not seeing a Fuji? At least on the horizon, Fuji should have been there. To me, this is still a mystery. Like, why Fuji hasn't showed itself? Huh, I mean, that's strange. Fuji is hiding. We need the real Fuji to show himself. <laughs> Where are you, Fuji? Where are you? All right, so I'm going to bring up the map. I'm going to look at the map and... Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuji got hijacked by aliens. <laughs> Yamanashi. Fuji, it's in... You see? Fubar Bear says Fuji, it's in Yamanashi. See, he's from Tokyo. He knows, man. Uh, we should have asked PewDiePie. PewDiePie's been to Tokyo. We should ask him. Say, PewDiePie, where the hell is the uh, Fuji? <laughs> I'm such a fucked up pilot. Adidas pilot. Can't even find the Fuji. <laughs> West of Yokohama. You see, we were almost there if we have listened to Fubar Bear. If we had listened to Fubar Bear, we would have known. We would have known. But we didn't listen to Fubar to Fubar Bear. <laughs> ah, I forgot about the Google. Google is your friend. Don't ever forget that. Google is your friend. Make love to the Google. Because she is your best lover and your best friend in your pocket. Ah, Fubar Bear. Uh -huh. Here we go. I see the downtown now. I see it, bro. I know where it is. For runway two two, Icon Golf I got it. I see it. It's right here, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, it's right here. Like, you can even see it, man. Right behind us, dude. It's like right over here. Downtown Tokyo is like right over here, dude. Right behind us. Dude, it was right behind us. It's so close to the airport. What a jackass. I am. It's right here. Right behind us. But I still don't see no Fuji. Because Fuji is on the... Um, West of Yokohama. Yokohama tires, man. I have Yokohama. Oh, do I have a Hankook? I have a Hankook. Maybe I have a Yokohama. I don't know. I know. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's raining in... in Tokyo. 
Tokyo! Here we go. Let's do this. Proper. Well, let me take that map down. Here we go. And Tokyo is right behind us, right here. There it is. Tokyo! There's Tokyo. And Fuji is nowhere to be found. No, I'm ignoring his last transmission. Let's slow down. Let's go to the famous Tokyo Highway. Here we go. Fa this is uh, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo Sport. Here we go. This is the train that uh, Hideo Kojima takes when he goes to work right here. This is the train station he takes. There it is. National Diet Building. <laughs> I never heard of that. They, I guess does exist. They do have a national diet building. Hold on. I need to Google that. I want to see. Do they really have a national diet building? Where is Hideo Kojima? Where is Hideo Kojima? It looks beautiful, man. Definitely. Nice. Hideo Kojima! Oh! Kojima! Okay. I'm not gonna acknowledge. I'm busy looking for Hideo Kojima. And Fuji. National Diet Building. My God, this is really Tokyo? Hold on. There's a Yuji National Museum. 
What is that? UG National... Oh, Gymnasium. Gymnasium. All right. We're going to make a loop. We're going to go to that tower. That famous tower. No, Tokyo is pretty big, man. Ah, it's pretty big. It just seems like it's not big from afar, but once you get close to it... Oh, yeah. Tokyo is pretty big. Now it's sunny in Tokyo. How about that? It's actually pretty nice. Tokyo Sky Tree. There's that famous Tokyo Sky Tree. So this is where Hideo Kojima lives. He lives right over here. Where's Sega? Where's Sega building? Where's Sony building? What the hell? I want to see the PlayStation building. There's that famous highway, Gran Turismo 7. Actually, it's a beautiful weather in Tokyo. Better than Yokohama. Yokohama, it's raining. Here is a little bit better. There's a sky tree. Why do they call it the sky tree? Sky tree. Oh, that's amazing, dude. Hold on. Hold on a second, guys. So Southwest Fubar Bear says that the Fuji is Southwest. Thank you, Fubar. Let's go and find a Fuji. Southwest, Southwest. Are you sure? Hold up. Uh, Southwest. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good, man. Are you sure it's a Southwest uh, Fubar Bear? Let's go check out the National Diet Building since I'm here. Before we uh, before we go to Fuji, I think you said west of Yokohama, 
uh, the Fuji mountain is. But let's go check out the National Diet Building. Let's go check it out. I know, man. I Hold on. I was about to say. You know why we can't see it? Because of the clouds. Uh, Fubar Bear. I think the clouds are, are covering it. I cannot see it. I never heard of a na national diet building. Uh, maybe this is a very famous building in, in Tokyo. I don't know. I, I, not, not only is it, but it is, I guess. This is a very famous building. Uh, National Diet Building. <laughs> I know. Maybe Fuji is sacred. It's a sacred, uh, sacred mountain and no one can go there. Maybe that's what it is. It's a sacred, sacred mountain. I'm really thinking about uh, RTX with this game I'm really thinking about RTX 3000 because I want to crank this up to 4k ultra with HDR I mean god damn and especially with the virtual reality with the HP reverb you're gonna need 3000 series just to even think about flying this in virtual reality to even possibly think about enjoying this in virtual reality National Diet Building. I gotta Google this shit. I never knew. I never heard about it, honestly. I never heard. I mean, I don't live in Tokyo, but I never heard about it. They never even show that in the movies. I mean, it's like... I know about the Sky Tree, but I never heard about the National Diet Building. Hold on. National Diet Building. Yoyogi National Gymnasium. Yoyogi National Gymnasium. Alright, let's go check it out. Yoyogi National Gymnasium. I mean, it's a pretty big city. I mean, pfft, that's for sure. Tokyo's pretty big. Hold on. Yo Yoyogi National Gymnasium. How come I never heard about these places? Yoyogi National Gymnasium. And then uh, National Diet Building. How come I never heard of it? Ooh, that looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Yoyogi National Gymnasium. Hold up, hold up. West. Oh. Damn, look at this. Damn, hold on. Wow! Did you see that place? Holy shit. You said west, right? I'm gonna go west.
Before we go to Fuji, let's go explore a little bit here more. Before we go to Fuji, let's go check out Tokyo metropolitan area. Before we go to Fuji. Before we officially... Before we officially head out to Fuji. So this is downtown. Tokyo is huge. Say whatever you want to say. Tokyo is pretty big, man. This like a government building. Look how look how beautiful that building is, man. And we're gonna go west to um Now we're gonna go west to Fuji this is a that's the government building we just looked at it so Tokyo ain't no joke it's pretty big man pretty 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 big 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 huge city yeah Nurburgring we could do that next. That'd be a good idea. Nurburgring. Um, let's go to to Fuji. He said it's west. We gotta go west. We gotta find Fuji, man. Can't leave without Fuji. It would be a disgrace. It would be a disgrace to go without Fuji. Oh yeah, Japanese, they know how to create stuff, dude. Did you see their new Honda Accords? Beautiful, man. They know how to create shit. Their Nissans... Look at their PlayStation, how beautifully it's designed. Their PlayStation 5. <laughs> I think I just triggered the Xbox fanboy. Look at this city. Tokyo ain't no joke. It's huge. It's freaking huge. And it's full of Yakuza, ready to slice and dice with their samurai swords, so don't mess around. It's full of Yakuza down here. Street racing, dirt, uh, uh, what you call it, not street racing, well, yeah, street racing, Tokyo street racing, uh, drifting, and of course, bike, super bike racing, and of course, Yakuza, Yakuza! Where does Where does Haido Kojima live? That's what I want to know. Oh my god, this is crazy. My computer froze, cannot handle it anymore. This is this is too much. This is Mr. 4K, you're killing us. This is crazy. We're looking for Fuji. We can't find Fuji, man. Fuji is gone. I think Fuji its hiding behind that cloud, I guarantee you. I'm telling you, the Fuji is hiding right there behind that cloud. Hold on, let me look down. Look at this, man. This is somewhere here. Um, Hideo Kojima lives. 
somewhere here it's Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima! Go a little south. Fubar says. There we go. Come on, Fuji. Fuji! All right. We're going to get to Fuji, bro. Fuji hiding in the clouds. I see another airplane over there. I see uh I see a helicopter protecting Fuji. Fuji's hiding in the clouds, man. How dare you? How dare you, Fuji? How dare you do this? It ain't cool. It's not cool. Maybe I'll finish my orange juice by the time we get there. You know what? We sh that's a good idea. You know, why didn't I think of that earlier? Hold on. Let's clear this shit. Ah, Fuji, I see you. Son of a bitch. There it is. <laughs> There it is. So it's west. It is west. You are right. Not south, but west. West, west, west. Okay. Fuji, Fuji Bear. I'm going to call you Fuji Bear. Not <laughs> the Fubar. Fuji Bear. Look at this. Look at the Tokyo, man. It's, it's ridiculously. Look. Huge. What's the population of Tokyo? I wonder. <sighs> Look at this. Oh yeah, you see everything, dude. Look at Tokyo, it's freaking huge. It's juggernaut. I don't want to hear anybody say Tokyo is too small. Kiss my ass. Tokyo is huge. <laughs> Hado Kojima knows best. Oro! Ongogyo! Damn. Look at this, man. It's crazy. Imagine this in a native 4K. Native 4K, 60... And HDR. Fuji so far, dude. Holy shit. Do I have enough fuel for Fuji? I think I'm going to crash at Fuji. I don't have enough fuel for Fuji, man. Good lord. I need to go a little bit higher in the, uh, in, uh, in the sky. Definitely a lot of people. A lot of samurais. A lot of Yakuza's, a lot of Kojima's you don't want to mess with. Even Yokohama looks pretty freaking huge, man. E Osaka, even Osaka too. But not as big as Tokyo, but damn, look at this. What is this? Shofu. Oh, it's an airport. Shofu. 
And right next to the airport, dude, there's a stadium. How cool is that? When the um, football players come to play in Japan, the airport is right there, dude. <laughs> How awesome is that? I would highly recommend 48. I've, I've been recommending it to Derek. Uh, dude, I can't find any issues with that TV. It's perfect, man. And it's beautiful TV, man. Everything's just... Imagine, just try to imagine how beautiful a game like this in native 4K and HDR looks on that TV. Just try to, try to picture that. That's something you can't picture. It is something you have to see for yourself. It's something you gotta experience, man. I, I think we can make it to Fuji. We we're gonna make it to Fuji. We are gonna make it to Fuji To Fuji, to Fuji Here we go Somebody probably who joins in, they're looking at this, they're saying Why you guys, uh, is this like a self-flying GoPro camera? airplane in Tokyo right now live <laughs> it's like a Tesla airplane what is this well there you go shadow what the thing about the shadow is you don't have to worry about your computer being a heater because uh, my computer right now is just blowing so much heat it's you have no idea um, but um, I think it's worth it. You can listen to your favorite music while you're flying. You can you can fly with the other people and talk to each other while you're flying. You know, you can both land somewhere and look at the pyramids or whatever. Or just have a good time, and then put on a VR headset and and enjoy the VR when it comes available. I think it's worth it though. But I still want my $120 back. Once I get my $120 back, then I'm going to tell Microsoft it's a then, then I'm going to correct the review. Then I'll say, "Yeah, it's a great game." But after I get my 120 back. <laughs> dude, finding a Capcom studio, forget it, dude. Forever. We got to go to Fuji. I don't have enough fuel for Capcom. They let me down on the Resident Evil 3. I'm disappointed. They better make me happy with Resident Evil 8. Because we're going to Fuji. Fuji! Don't be such a Fuji. I think people gonna be people gonna be afraid to play this in virtual reality they're gonna feel uh, nauseous honestly they're, they're gonna feel they're gonna throw up I guarantee you experience this uh, in the virtual reality I think they're gonna feel like Ugh. I don't think anyone's gonna touch X plane 11 after this uh, explain what? Explain to me why you exist, explain. Explain, explain. Why do you exist now? <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. We gotta hurry up. We don't have time. We gotta see Fuji. And hopefully my fuel is not gonna run out.
Hopefully my fuel will be fine. Look at all these people living down there, man. It's crazy. Eight billion people on this planet. That's so insane. When you think about how many people there are on this planet. And are you trying to tell me that aliens are not aware of us? Come on, man. Eight billion people on this planet and they're not aware of us? Come on. Come on. I mean, ask yourself. Don't you think we wouldn't be aware of somebody... If they're out there, of course we're aware. They have to. They, of course they're here. Of course they're watching us. Of course they're visiting us. Of course they are. They have to. They want to go to the Fuji. They hide right on the Fuji, on top of the Fuji. And their UFOs, they exit in and out from the Fuji. <laughs> I finished Resident Evil 3 in about... In about four hours, was it four hours? Yeah, four hours. I mean, I had fun. I had fun with the game, don't get me wrong. But it was disappointing that it was so short. There we go. You should uh, look for this one guy. His name is... Um, he's on Twitter. Evil Boris HDR. This guy lives and breeds high dynamic range. Uh, you should look him up. Go to the Evil Boris HDR. I think he's your best bet. Go to uh, Twitter and type in Evil Boris HDR. <coughs> What? Incorrect headings? No. No, 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 no. Fuji is so far away, dude. Look at Tokyo. Tokyo is like there. And then Fuji is there. That just shows you how big Tokyo is. Juggernaut of a city. Look at that. Just look behind. Look how much of a of a city there is there. Dude, I'm almost running out of fuel. I'm almost running out of fuel. Maybe I need to climb up a little bit. So, I can land on, on the lake. They got a bunch of lakes over here. They got a bunch of lakes. All right, that's as high as this plane goes. Getting closer to Fuji. Woo! Fuji, man. So Fuji is west, west of Tokyo. Yep.
Come on, Fuji. I know you're there. There it is, Fuji. Right over there. You know, I admire Japanese so much because they're very sophisticated people. Uh, they're able to recover from two atomic bombs, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, and the way they were able to build up their economy after the World War II. I really admire them, dude. Same thing with Germany. Look at Germany, how they rebuilt their economy. I mean, pfft. After World War II, they thought, that's it. They're never going to recover. So you have to admire that about uh, these people, man. They are able to truly bring themselves up. I just admire that. I admire that, man. That, that not giving up attitude. I think not giving up attitude will get you will get you anywhere. Yeah, it will get you to the Mars. You're probably laughing right now, but uh, 30 years from now, boom, you're in Mars. And you can't believe it. Like, shit, I'm on Mars. I'm walking on goddamn Mars. <laughs> Look at this, man. This is beautiful. Amazing. Come on, Fuji. Any day now, Fuji. Fuji is so far away, dude. Well, humans killed more humans than the nature, honestly, if you think about it. Yeah. Mm, let me see. We're getting there. We're getting closer to Fuji. Fuji Town. Good Lord, Fuji so far away. I'll just have enough fuel, dude. I'll have enough fuel just to... Hold on. Here's what we're going to do. I'll have enough fuel just to... Uh, just to get to the Fuji. <laughs> Just to get to the Fuji. Mom Fuji. I'm gonna go inside a dude, I'm gonna lose my fuel just enough so that I can uh dive inside a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Did 
There's another small town over here. Look, next to Fuji. Got another town here. Come on, come on, come on. Fuji town. Jesus, Fuji is so far. I'm regretting this Fuji. Because it's so far. I'm gonna make it active, FUBAR. When I lose my fuel and I go inside gliding, I'm gonna erupt that shit. I'm gonna fart. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna reactivate the Fuji. No! Don't fall! Be careful. Hold on. We had a problem here. A little tiny accident. Hold on. Come on, dude. Make it to the Fuji. God damn it. Make it to the Fuji. You need to go to the Fuji. You need to get there. Fuji is waiting for you. Fuji is waiting desperately for you to show up. Dude, almost. Almost! Come on, Fuji. Fuji. Fuji Huchi. When I get there, when I get to the Fuji. Here we go. Let's go. Fuji Town. Ah, Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal flyover. First, let me get to to Fuji, and then I'll see. <laughs> I think Washington D.C. would be great to check. Just to look at the uh, the White House and the uh, the Capitol building, you know, House of Representatives and all that shit. To, to look at the monuments, to look at the Lincoln Memorial, it'd be kind of cool. I don't know, man. This is this is gonna be. I barely got enough fuel. I don't know, man. My fuel, it's almost gone. My fuel, it's almost gone. This is really bad. I hope this Fuji is worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside the Fuji. I'm gonna give it to her good. I'm gonna go inside the Fuji. <laughs> Quarantine dream, yes. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna give birth to Fuji. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> I wanna dream about the Fuji tonight. I'm gonna wake up middle of the night. Fuji! Ah 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 ah. We're going to go to Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, Isaac, we already been to uh, Knoxville. Uh, what was it? We already been to Knoxville, Tennessee. We already been there. Uh, so we're going to go to Washington, D.C. See if I can land next to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Service comes out. Gun blazing. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> I better not, man. 
They're gonna ban me from YouTube. Don't you dare landing on a White House lawn. <laughs> yeah, it's too risky though. Washington DC is off limits. You can't mess with the Freemason town. You gotta let them, you gotta leave it alone. It's off limits. When it comes to Freemasons, it's off limits. <laughs> That's it. We're not going to Washington DC. It's off limits. So we're not doing Washington DC. I'll tell you what we're doing. We're going to Antarctica. Antarctica. Yes, you heard me right. Antarctica. You heard me right. All right, so this is how it works for the requests. Um, the members have a priority. Now, if members are not asking for any requests and there is no request from a member, then, yeah, you can send a request. That's fine. But if a member sends a request first, then uh, we go primarily with the, uh, with the members, paying members. We're never gonna make it, Mamba. Look, this is too far, dude. I look, I'm out of fuel, man. I, dude, I'm, dude, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna. There's no way I can make it, bro. Dude, I'm a full throttle. I want to find the pyramid, the ice pyramid, in the central uh, Antarctica. You're gonna see the frozen cockpit. I don't know what kind of airplane do I need to use for that, dude. This isn't. Uh, this one will do it. This one right here. Because we can land with this one. We can look at the ice capades. We can land on the sea and look at the ice capades. Oh my god. Mamba, you think we're gonna make it? Derek, you think we're gonna make it to the to the I don't think look, I don't have enough fuel. There's no way. There's just no way I'm gonna make it with all this a little bit of fuel that I have left. There's just no way we're going to make it. <laughs> Randall Ellison, thank you for becoming a silver man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers, man. Randall since you became a member, looks like Antarctica is going to have to wait. You're going to have to make a decision. Where do you want to go, Randall? Once we finish this, once we get to the um, Fuji, if we get to the Fuji, <laughs> if we get to the Fuji, Hey, I can land on that lake. Dude, there's a lake next to the Fuji. So it's all good. Even if I lose my fuel, there's a lake. I can land on that lake next to the Fuji. Thank you, Randall. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Anywhere you want, you say it, Randall, we'll go there. <sighs> I don't know, mate. Are we going to make it? <laughs> Are we going to make it? Hey, look, that's fine. Even if we don't make it to the Fuji, there's that lake. You see that lake? We can easily... We can easily go to that lake. See this lake right here? This lake right here. We can land on that lake right next to Fuji. Oh, that, that lake is too far, man. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. May Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Uh, you guys want to see it from this angle? All right. You know, I, th I think it was worth it. 
spending four days trying to figure this out you know i i didn't want to give up on this game because i knew that this is something that's really special and i said i gotta i gotta figure this out you know spend four days trying to figure out what the problem was with the download and it took us a while it took me a while because we were looking at the wrong places we were looking at the debug c49 as a corrupted file so what we end up doing we end up deleting the files that we already downloaded and there was no corrupted files but how are we supposed to know that there's no corrupted files uh, it took me a while yesterday I was able to figure out that it's the internet you need a stable internet the internet bandwidth has to be consistent meaning you cannot have any bottleneck you know somebody else is connected to your modem somebody else is connected to your router you got a bunch of devices working in the background you can't have any bottleneck basically you have to have your modem uh, be dedicated only to your computer and use Ethernet cable directly from your modem to your computer connected to the uh, back of your uh, computer on the Ethernet port and spend three and a half four hours just downloading that is the only way there's another solution there's a shadow if you have a shadow PC cloud gaming uh, they have one gigabit consistent one gigabit fiber optic the best possible internet on the planet and took me 25 minutes to download 95 gigabytes excuse me 152 gigabytes I, I made a video about it yesterday uh, so it took us a while but I'm glad that we figured this out now we can help other people now we can spread we can spread the news and we can tell everybody there's no bug guys if you're watching this and you're having a difficult time downloading this game there's no corrupted file there's no corrupted file on the game it's just the internet needs to be stable and has to be consistent consistency is the key it has to be even if it's a 500 megabit uh, a second as long as it's 500 megabits per second consistent you can't have any other um, devices bringing a bottleneck you can't be doing other things downloading other stuff you have to make reservations you have to make that modem free only for that game to be downloaded and your computer only has to be downloaded uh, has to be connected I'm sorry your computer has to be connected to that modem meaning nothing else unplug your router disconnect everything disconnect all your devices disconnect all your Philips Hue devices all your laptops tablets I know it sucks but you gotta disconnect everything and you only gotta have that modem dedicated for your PC where you're gonna be downloading this juggernaut of a video game and once you finish downloading then you can connect everything back together and then you're good to go guys this is the only way this is the only way I wish there was another way but there ain't And I think I proved that with that video, which I have. You guys can go check it out. Last night, I uploaded that video um, where I was able to showcase that it's the internet. That's the consistency. The speed of the internet bandwidth consistency is the key. And I proved that on that video. On the shadow. Why is it that shadow doesn't have a red tape? Because you got a consistent, dedicated no bottleneck internet speed that it's able to communicate consistently with the server from Microsoft to unpack all that data onto your hard drive it took me a while it took me a while to figure this out but we finally got it yesterday all right looks like um, looks like we're gonna make it Looks like we're going to make it to the Fuji. Oh my god. We're going to make it to Fuji. 
Oh, you've been gone for seven hours, dude. What? No, five hours. No, four hours. Not a, uh, the stream. It's seven hours and half. Stream. It's seven hours and half. You've been gone four and a half hours. Four and a half. Four and a half. Ninja Gaiden is awesome, dude. You see that red tape? That's what that red tape means. The red tape means your internet. That's why... That's what the whole thing was. There's no corrupted file. It's not like it's a hard drive. You know, on a hard drive, when you have to format a hard drive, right? You have that corrupted file that's inside and, and you have to delete everything on your hard drive. No, there's no corrupted file. This was the internet problem all along i wish that i knew if i had known i would be flying since tuesday or since wednesday oh chick fil -A. oh nice you being the chicken you mr chicken man mr urban chicken man beta 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 chicken. <laughs> Beta chicken. Gotta love Jesse Lee Peterson, man. He's awesome. So what do you think about Great White Hope? What do you think about Great White Hope? And the Hoochie Mama, Big Mama. And then it says, <laughs> Messiah Father. <laughs> He refers to Michelle Obama. It's a big mama, hoochie mama. And uh, Barack Obama is the uh, Messiah father. <laughs> and the great white hope is the <laughs> Donald, J. Donald J. Trump. I, look, I love when he triggers these chicks. You know, these chicks in Los Angeles and La 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 Land. You know, those SJWs and these feminists. When they come in and he says, Why? Do support the uh, SJW. I said that's evil. SJW, it's evil. And he triggers them. He just flats out calls them evil. They're evil. That's evil. I said no, you're wrong about that. That's evil. I love, I love him, dude. I watch Jesse Lee Peterson, dude. I watch him all the time, every morning. And uh, I also watch him play a video game. He plays a video game. He plays a Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, he was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> he goes like, are there any betas? Betas in this game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> big fat lesbian. <laughs> She's a big fit lesbian. Oh god. I love it. I love it, man. He's the best. Oh my god, we can not only that, but we can land. Guys. We're gonna go inside. This is gonna be epic. This is gonna be epic. We're gonna go in we're gonna land on top of it, dude. This is gonna be epic, bro. Holy shit. We made it. Everyone has a YouTube channel. I mean, every celebrity, everyone has a YouTube channel. I think COVID-19 has made everybody uh, be on the internet. Even Brie Larson has a YouTube channel. I mean, everybody's doing it, man. Everybody. I think Henry Cavill should do a YouTube channel. No, for real, dude. Especially a guy like him who loves PCs, building a PC. He could do live stream The Witcher. He could live stream a bunch of other games that he plays. Total War, Rome, Total War, um, World of Warcraft, or whatever. 
I think Henry Cavill, somebody should talk to Henry Cavill. Like, dude, you should do a YouTube channel. For real. I mean, you are a gamer. You have a PC. How come you're not on a YouTube channel, bro? You should be on... You should have your own... You should live stream. I'll watch Henry Cavill live stream. You guys will watch him. I'll watch Superman. You'll watch Superman. He should be on a... Hey, what's this? What's going on here? What's all these lines? What happened here? This is some alien shit here. Look at these lines. What's going on? Oh my god. We're gonna land here. Oh my god, can we make it? This is turning into like a Christopher Nolan film. Hey, I can land here. Hold on. I think I can land. Dude, they got buildings. What the fuck, dude? They have people live up there. Holy shit. No, people live. People live up there, dude. I can land here. This is crazy. Why would you build a building there, dude? What if the volcano erupts? Hold on. No, no. Don't crash! No! There you go. But at least we made it, bro. At least we made it. At least we made it. No, I was running out of fuel, man. I was losing. I was losing total uh, control. Um, but at least we made it, dude. That was a building, yeah. <laughs> At least we made it, bro. We made it to Fuji. We went to Tokyo. We, we found Fuji. We almost got landed on the Fuji. So, and I didn't know there's actually buildings on the Fuji. Like, what the... F Maybe that's, that's like observatory. That's observatory buildings. Where they're like observing the, uh, the Fuji mountains. See what's going on with the volcano. Is it going to erupt? Yeah, research center. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you can land on top of it. Fuck, dude. One of these days I'm going to land on it. I will, I swear. I'm sorry, Derek. I wish that I could land, but but I couldn't. I couldn't land on it. You missed Tokyo. You missed everything. You missed everything, Mr. Urban World. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next? Antarctica? Where are we going? We're gonna watch the ice capades. I can't believe I've been streaming for almost seven and a half hours. Almost eight hours, dude. Eight hours! It's insane. It felt like nothing. Alright. We're going to... Oh my god, I can't believe we're gonna do this. Are we doing this? Holy shit. I guess we are doing this, man. Hold on. Dude, there's no airports here. You can't even land. <laughs> what? Maybe we can go to Antarctica a different way. Hold on. Hold on.
Antarctica is forbidden. <gasps> Hold on. No, it cannot be. There has to be. Here we go. Right here. Set his departure. And then... Look how big Antarctica is. Look at this shit, bro. There's aliens there. Hundred... Dude. Hundred percent. Hundred thousand percent. Thousand percent. We've been to Hawaii, actually. Uh, earlier today. We've been to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. We went to uh, Honolulu, where the uh, Jurassic Park was filmed. Dude, this is crazy, bro. We're going to Antarctica. This is insane. How long does it get dark? I mean, it's like, how many days is dark down there? Jesus. Let's go. Oh, my God. This will be insane. I should have used a different airplane. I made a mistake. I should have gone with the bumper deer, dude. With bumper deer. I made a mistake. I got to do this again, guys. Don't worry, you can watch it again, Isaac. It's eight hours. You got eight hours to watch, man, from the beginning. I'm going to use a bumper deer. I made a mistake. I'm sorry, guys. I got to go back and use a bumper deer. I, I screwed up. I fucked it up. I'm such a... Such a some, 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 sometimes I'm a yayo. I'm a yayo. That's what I am. I'm such a yayo. Hold on. Guys, we got to go back. We got to go back. I'm such a yayo. Yes. I want to choose a different airplane. I need something stronger. And I think Bombardier uh, will do that for me. Yeah, this airplane cannot handle the, 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 the wind speed speed and all that no we got we need a jet we need a jet liner here let's go here we go it's right here and I'm gonna need something powerful And what is that powerful thing? I think it's this one. Not CJ4. Is it this one? I think it's this one. CJ4. We'll go with the CJ4. And we're going to go world map. And we're gonna go fly. Oh, he did. Oh, Machu Picchu. Oh, shit. I didn't see it. We'll go to Machu Picchu after uh, Antarctica. We'll do it. Sorry about that. I didn't see it. We'll go to Machu Picchu. Don't worry. Right after this, we'll go to Machu Picchu. Peru. Machu Picchu Peru has like uh, Nazca lines. They have uh, all them uh, drawings on the on the ground and whatnot. But let's go check this out really quick. Oh my god. Turn the lights on. This is already insane. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is crazy. Look at this, man. This is insane. Oh 
Hold on. Wait a minute. There's really nothing to see on, on Antarctica, dude. Hold on. Now keep an eye on the windshield. Just look how quickly, how quickly the windshield is gonna get, um, cold. Thank you, Randall. It's nothing but ice down there. Hold on, let me see. Antarctica, it's a forbidden land. There's something over here. Hold on. There it is. This is crazy, dude. There we go. No, I haven't seen that trailer. I, I've been meaning to watch it. Oh, dude, it's so... You can't see nothing. Visibility is zero. Oh, my God. Dude, you can't see shit. This is scary, dude. This shit is scary. Jesus. May Lord have mercy. Forget Antarctica. This is why nobody wants to go there. This is why, uh, what's his name? It says forget about it. Just don't go there. It's a forbidden land. <laughs> I'm going to check it out. I'm going to watch it tonight. That's going to be on HBO Max. It's a good reason to have HBO Max now. Yeah, forget Antarctica, man. This is just f f unforgiving. This is just brutal, man. Oh, my God. Forget it. Let's uh, forget this, man. <laughs> this is brutal. I'm definitely going to check it out.
I know. There's so much secrecy. Even Buzz Aldrin got sick, dude. You know, the, the guy who landed on the moon. Well, one of the guys, Apollo 11, uh, who landed on, uh, on the moon. And uh, he went to Antarctica. I mean, you know, the guy who landed on the moon. I mean, you think, you know, I'm going to Antarctica. I can handle this, right? Dude, he got sick. They had to hospitalize him. And he didn't, like, he didn't want to say much. Even to this day, he's not saying much. But uh, I can guarantee you they, uh, the experience was brutal. Uh, he probably doesn't want to talk about it. For whatever reasons, dude. I think that place is forbidden, dude. Like central, some outskirts of Antarctica, you know. I guess you can have your little bases there. But I think going any further than that, like central part. Uh, first of all, conditions are horrendous. Fucking horrendous conditions, dude. But probably they encounter some shit down there. They're like, ah, uh, this is off limits. This is nobody's country. It's off limits. This is an alien country. Uh, get the back fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, let's go to Peru. Peru, we're going to Peru. I forgot. First, let's change the airplane. Um, this is the one that I like. Uh, longitude, longitude. Cessna citation. Longitude. It's called the longitude. Textron Longitude. And uh, let's go to the world. World map. Forget this. Look at this. Look at look at this. The size of this thing, man. Look at this. The hell with that. Forget it. There is a station over here, but you can't see shit, man. It's too many clouds. It's dark. Forget it. There is a one place over here, too, you can go, I guess, but... It's not worth it. Now, North Pole. If you go to North Pole, I guess it's a little bit more feasible. Going to... But even there, it's you don't want to you don't want to go there too much. But anyway, let's go to, uh, where was it? Hold on. I think here it's more feasible going to the North Pole. I think it's more feasible up here. All right, let's go to Peru. Now, does anybody know what's the um, what's the call sign for Peru for the airport? Is it SPGL or something else? Machu Picchu. Um, well, hold on. Let me see some. Hold on. Let me check. Let me see. Peru, Peru. Machu Picchu. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Don't worry. Machu Picchu. I 
I got it. There's an airport here. I got it. It's way down below. Way down below. And uh, Lima District. There's a Lima District here. Hold on. So, should be over here, Machu Picchu. Yeah, you, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I think this would do it right here. I think, I think from here, we can make it to uh, Machu Picchu from here. It's close enough. Hold on. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> There's a Nazca lines right over here. Hold on. I see it. I see it. I think I'm a little bit north. I'm at the... Uh, let me see. There's a Cusco. There's a Nazca lines right over here. Hold on. Hold on. We'll put this one as a departure. I think this one's closer here. I think I'm like very close to where it is. There it is. Alejandro. We'll set as departure. Alejandro. Alejandro. That's the one, right? Yeah. Alejandro. And then Machu Picchu is right there. Right? Right around here. Let me see some. I just want to kind of measure something here really quick. There. I think that's... It's right there. Right? It's pretty close. Yeah. I got it. I got it. So this is it. This, this, like, you know what? Not only can we fly, not only can we fly through Machu Picchu, but we can also go down to the Nazca lines. The Nazca lines are right over here, dude. Hold on. I think they're down here. Nazca lines are like, they're like over here. Hold on. No, Nazca's just east. No, west, I'm sorry. Nazca line should be just, just slightly. Well, close enough. Well, this is close enough. Yeah, this is close enough from here to there. The Nazca lines are right over here. This is where you got all them stuff, you know, uh, designed that you can see from the sky. 
it's strange because this all the symbols they're created on the ground it's something you have to only see from the sky from very high above the sky and uh as far as to my knowledge we didn't have any airplanes we didn't know how to fly in the past you know hundreds and hundreds and you know thousands of years ago we didn't know how to fly so somebody else showed us how to fly. I don't know, somebody else was flying i guess So that's it. Nazca lines. And then we can go to... Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Machu Picchu. And then Nazca lines right over here. That'll do it. Here we go. Ready? Let's make it a clean conditions. Um, oh, it's a live weather. Should we keep it live? Let's keep it live. That's fine. And let's fly. This for Randall... He's uh, requested this, so we're going to do this for Randall. Oh, it's going to run smooth on 1080p ultra settings, dude. No issues, no problems. I've tested it. Runs super, super smooth. Eight hours, man. How long are we streaming? Eight hours. And this will be our last flight after this, and we're going to end the stream because it's been about eight hours. I got to check out that trailer. I got to look at some things. Uh, so, yeah, man, it's been it's been fantastic eight hours. And it's going to be even more fantastic after we see the uh, Machu Picchu, after we see Nazca lines. Woo! Enjoy it, man. It's going to be it's going to be something to truly enjoy. Uh, it's beautiful. You're welcome. Beautiful scenery, man. Our planet's such a mysterious place. Ready to fly? There it is. Look at the traffic. So much traffic down there. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well... Here we go. Enjoy it. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Here we go. Okay. I gotta look at my flaps. Just gotta check something here really quick. Just gotta make sure that uh, everything it's where it needs to be. Just want to get familiar with uh, with the airplane. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm just checking something really quick. I'll put it to position two. The flaps. Because I don't want to really... Thank you, Randall. I really appreciate it. Because I don't want to... Thank you so much, man. Thank you for that $5. Because I really don't want to... Fly too fast with this airplane. Because I want this airplane to... To kind of... Go slowly. As much as it can. So I'm going to leave it at that position. Okay. Okay, here we go. And... Uh, this is the airplane 
uh, this is the newer version of uh, the uh, the Sans Cessna Bombardier, if you will. This is the newer version of this plane. And the name of the plane, the model name, it's right here, just to let you know. It's ASXGS. And this is the version that you get with the uh, Premium Deluxe. And um, it's a pretty good airplane. So let's go. Let's go check this out. Let me show you the. Uh, we got ready to go. Okay. Okay. That's good. I want to make sure this is done right for Randall. Brake is out. Let me turn the sound on so you can hear it. You guys can hear it too. I don't always keep landing saying landing gear. gear. I already got landing it. Landing gear. Stall. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. The flaps. Flaps. I got it, I got it. We'll be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be all right. Let me go to a higher higher altitude a little bit. 
and then from there we're gonna because this airplane is super fast um, All right, we got it now. That's better. Oh yeah, because of a lot of moisture when you're going through the clouds. But I got it, I'll, I'm gonna manage. Just have to regulate my flaps a little bit. This is a bit tricky. This plane is tricky, guys. But don't worry for Randall, I'm gonna make it happen. Thank you, Randall. Machu Picchu. What a beautiful place, man. Peru. And look, look at all this stuff down there, man. It's such a magnificent place. Such a wondrous place, man. It's like a heaven. We're going to go east towards a um, Nazca lines a nice little trip I got my flaps to position one, so everything should be smooth. Hold on. They do freeze up. Quite often. Thank you, uh, Rendell. And thank you for that $5. I really appreciate it. You can see the cars down below.
there is a little bit of a turbulence, obviously. As there should be uh, in this area. Now we're gonna go east. That looks like a pyramid, man, almost. I'm gonna go east. Oh, you definitely been to Peru, bro. got to go east we're gonna go east right from this uh, right around this mountain We're going to make our way to uh, actually Nazca lines are west. I'm sorry. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. I did. Nazca lines are west. We got to go west and then we will go west. Now we're heading west. Nazca lines. I'm gonna go around this pathway right here. Right here. Don't worry. It'll be all right. There's a small town over here on the right.
right there on the right. The reason we're going west, because the Nazca lines are west. Uh, Machu Picchu is east in the center, so we got to go west. There's another small town over here. Hold on, right here. See it? There's another town here. Handsome Swedish bastard is back. How you doing, bro? There you go. Machu Picchu. This is tricky flying here because of the high altitude. Because of all the mountains and shit. It's pretty uh, tough to fly around this area. Oh no! My internet has stopped. Oh no! Hold on. Now we're going to uh, Nazca, Nazca lines, so let's go a little bit higher. Oh, you couldn't sleep. My co-pilot came back. <laughs> My Swedish bastard. Handsome Swedish bastard came back to help me out find the Nazca lines. <laughs> you probably have insomnia, man. I have that too sometimes. Look at this place. This place is unbelievable. I'm doing good. Look at that river down there. Imagine being lost here. Like you lost, and you gotta walk. Oh, forget about it. This is difficult. But I think I'm doing good for an amateur. I think I'm doing okay for an amateur. 
how many places did we go today? We went to Chicago, we went to uh, Rhode Island, we went to uh, Tokyo, we went to, Jesus, so many places. But we haven't went to China Wall. That's the one place we haven't visited yet. I'm doing good, by the way, Derek. How you doing, man? Oh, you got a law exam on? Yeah, man. You're definitely not going to be sleeping because you're thinking about, uh. And did I get this correct? Is it A and B or all of the above or multiple choice? <laughs> And look at this. The airplane's already still shaking and then frost bites. Terrible frost bites. <laughs> This is dangerous. Right now, what I'm doing here is super dangerous. So we're gonna do this. Just climb up a little bit, get out of the clouds. And sort this out better. Hey, look, you can already see some stuff. Look. Some interesting stuff there. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta go to Nazca lines. Let's do some edging around the cloud. Hold on. This is crazy. The majority of pilots would say, you're insane. You're taking uh, this airplane <laughs> through the Peru. <laughs> I said, yes, I am. We're doing this for Randall. Got this, man. Got it. What? What happened? Oh, I overstressed the aircraft and caused the critical damage. Ah, damn. Oh, Lord. Oh no. Well, I hope that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, Randall. Yes, the ice will go down if you fly very low. Uh, however, what we can do, we can do one more thing for Randall. Because he did tip five dollars. What we can do for Randall, we can uh, go ahead and go with uh, 
very, very lightweight airplane. Uh, we can do something for him that's going to be... Hold on. No, that's not it. It's not it either. It's right here. You want to go? You want to see Nazca lines from here? If you want, I can show you the Nazca lines, uh, Randall. We can go here and I can show you the, the Nazca lines. And then we can go all the way up here. And we can choose something reliable. Something that majority of us would probably use. Like an airplane like this. Strictly designed to fly. There we go. And after this, we're going to call it quits, guys. It's been almost eight and a half hours, almost nine hours, man. This is not my longest stream. Probably my longest uh, flight live stream, but. <laughs> Chicago is amazing. Uh, looking at Chicago was simply stunning, man. Um, there's some places like on this, on this game, like when you go to certain places on the planet, you're just breathtaking, dude. Like we went down to South America, like deep down South America, like no, uh, close to, uh, Antarctica and dude, it was just pff, breathtaking. Cessnas are usually great for sightseeing. Jetliners are really to get you quick. To go up in the sky, high altitude, and get you somewhere quick. Uh, Sierra Papa 70 traffic flight design Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra right. taking off runway 35 left north departure. That's right. This is what we need. We need an airplane like this to get us where we need to go. And this is perfect. This is just what the doctor ordered right here. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. Oh, this is not my longest. I've done uh, The Last of Us Part 2. 12 days, 12 hours a day. It was ridiculous. Uh, it's ridiculous. I've done so many long live streams. Even waiting to download this game was like six and a half. Was it seven hours? I've done some juggernauts of of long live streams here we go but thank you thank you uh lincoln i appreciate that i think this is perfect for nazca lines i'd say Hold on, I gotta fix my flaps. I'm not familiar with this plan. Where's my flaps? Ah, uh, shit. That's a break. Uh, oh well. Damn it. 
I don't know where the flaps are on this plane. This plane is kind of cool. Look at it, man. It's kind of cool, right? This is also an extra airplane you get. So we gotta go west for the Nazca lines. West, west, west. No, east. I'm sorry. I'm such a dud. We gotta go east, not west. East. And I have my Adidas, my Adidas hat, my Adidas hat for, um, <laughs> Adidas captain, Adidas, I look so goofy with this Adidas captain thing, man. I look like the guy that's selling something on a, I look like one of those guys from the goofy commercials, like a cringe-worthy commercials, you know. Will you buy Adidas, hmm? Try Adidas, will you? I think Giorgio Sukakalis, Giorgio, it's in a, it's in the inside the airplane. What the hell is this? Look at this, dude. Check this out. What the hell is this? Yo, look at these lines. What in the fuck is this, dude? Did this is this naturally designed or man-made? What in the hell? What in the bloody hell? What? Looks like a, a Pac-Man. What the? Dude, Nazca, Nazca is such a uh, strange place. Nazca lines, this shit is strange. Some Noah Adidas coming. <laughs> this channel is sponsored by Adidas. If you fly, make sure you fly with Adidas. Oh yeah, we went to see um, we went to see Tokyo, and we also went to see a uh, what the what was it? Oh yeah, Fuji, Fuji uh, volcano. We were this close to landing on the Fuji volcano. What happened is I forgot to turn the the landing gear on like a like a jackass. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? I forgot to turn on the damn landing gear and I want to land. What a jackass. Only I can do shit like that. Oh lord. Oh, this is area. This is. This is area 60, 61. Area 61, it's a uh, hidden uh, sister area opposite of area 51 area 51 there's no aliens but here this is where they keep aliens in peru area 61 Here we go. What happened between me and Steven? Listen. I gave Steven more opportunity and more chances than I ever gave anybody. Okay? 
the problem with Steven is he was getting too pushy. Uh, he was taking my kindness. He was mistaking my kindness for weakness. Okay? And I let him know, hey, dude, don't think you can just do this kind of shit and think there's not going to be any consequences. Uh, I made him a member. I mean, I didn't make him a member. I made him a moderator. I even added him to my PlayStation Network. I did requests for him. Okay, I was trying to help the guy. I was trying to be a cool person to him. I said, maybe I can help this guy because I noticed something was off with this guy. Okay, at, at one point I felt sorry for him. I felt maybe something is off with this guy. And I was like, maybe I can help him out. So I don't need him to, to donate money. I don't need him to do anything. Let me just go ahead. Let me help him out, right? So I made him a moderator. I played The Last of Us Part 2. I did a bunch of games for him. I even did a NASCAR 5. Um, I did a lot of things for him. And I never asked him to donate. I never even asked him to become a member. And what did he do? He took advantage of that. He started uh, acting pushy. He started like laughing at everybody. Started uh, being negative. Uh, saying that the PC sucks, the money doesn't grow in the trees. Then him start saying that the PlayStation, uh, it's good, then it's not good, Xbox is better. Listen, the guy got exactly what he asked for. I warned him, I gave him two chances. Am I going to give the guy a third chance? I really don't have time. Uh, he showed me who he really is, and I just don't have time for individuals like that. I'm 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 busy, man. I don't have time to uh, to baby to babysit somebody because they have a problem, dude. I'm not your counselor. I'm not your psychiatrist. If you got issues, dude, seek help elsewhere. Uh, so that's why he's out of here. <clears throat> Just like the other guy got canned, got kicked out, like Stephen H. Coming here. Uh, no, you talk about a James. Oh, James. Oh, forget James. I thought you. Oh, Stephen H. I was. I was. I thought you were referring to James. My bad. I thought you were referring to James. Anyway, Stephen, listen. Uh, thing with the Steven is you would think you would think that Steven would like that I actually came back that I changed my mind that I didn't quit streaming because I really didn't want to didn't want to do this I was just gonna pump up the videos here and there and you guys enjoy the videos and whenever I get back to your comment I get back to your comment but instead he came back and he started bitching and moaning that's not cool you said you was gonna quit and now you're back that's not cool I said I thought you would be happy that I uh, that I didn't quit I thought you would be happy to see me come back but he's like, no, you should have quit. So basically, you're telling me, Steven, that I should have quit. So that you're telling me you don't give a shit, basically. So that $2 you subscribe to me, that doesn't mean anything, I guess. You know. Listen, I just want to say this, guys. If you are blocked, I do it. There's a reason for it. I don't block people for no reason. I'm not some kind of an asshole going around and just getting off on it. Uh, I don't get a hard on by blocking people. I don't get an erection by blocking people. It doesn't make me feel good doing that. But you got to ask yourself why they are blocked. They're blocked for a reason. 
they're blocked for a reason and they're not going to tell you that reason because they want to play a victim because of their ego or whatever the hell it is that they have inside it's ego right they're not man enough to say hey i fucked up i'm sorry dude i fucked up you're right you know i can do that when i fuck up i've done it but they're not going to do it This is the Nazca Lines. We're going to Peru. We're going east to Peru. This is Nazca Lines. And uh, Georgiou Sokolkalis is down there. He's lost. Georgiou Sokolkalis, we don't want to lose you, man. He says, don't worry. Aliens will pick him up. Ancient aliens will pick him up and they will bring him back to his home. Just in time for tonight's episode of uh, Ancient Aliens. Perhaps. I'm not saying that it was aliens. But perhaps maybe it was aliens. I mean, who could have designed something like this? It has to be aliens. (laughs) There you go, Mamba. You see? Mr. 4K doesn't talk out of his ass. Excuse me, Mr. 4K doesn't talk out of his hairy ass. Mr. T- Mr. 4K uh, tells you the way it is. Hold on. There we go. Look at this, man. This is as real as it can be. You guys want me to look inside? Check it out here. Look at this. This is so real. It feels like, honestly, like it's like I'm inside this plane. It feels so damn real. Hold on. Now, think about the Nazca lines. Um, the only way you can see those uh, symbols is if you, if you look up from the sky. Like, that's like the only way you can see, the, uh, see them symbols, if you look up from the sky. I mean, we're not there yet. We're getting there slowly. But that's like the only way. And by the way, welcome, JC. Thank you, uh... Even though you you came late, this live stream it's almost nine hours. There's so much to see on this live stream, guys. There's so much. Mamba, maybe tomorrow me and Mamba can uh, fly together. On a multiplayer, huh? What do you think? Only from the sky you can see it. Imagine if you get lost here. No, I want you to think about this. Imagine how much that would suck. No cellular connection. You can't call anybody, nobody knows where you are, and you're stuck here. And your only option is uh, aliens. With Georgiou Sokokolis coming out of a UFO craft. (laughs) You guys know who Georgiou Sokokolis is, right? I'm sure everybody knows. The guy with that hair. Yeah, let's do it, man. I think me and you should fly together in formation. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure, JC. Peru, it's a magnificent country, man. Say, it's like heaven. Look at this. This is a God's country. It's heaven. This is heaven, dude. This is like, you don't have to go to Mars. People say, I want to go to Mars. Dude, there's your Mars right here. There's your Sidonia, Mars, right here. You want to go to Mars? Well, there you go, right here.
Sunday flying, yes sir. We're gonna go this way. There's something interesting here. I'm seeing some interesting stuff here happening. I know it's east. That's why I'm going east. But I saw something here. Something very, very interesting. Lost in Peru. That's it. Look at this. You don't be lost here, for sure. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Is this what I think it is? That sliced mountain? A sliced mountain? Like an airstrip? This place is just unbelievable. Look at this. <clears throat> yes, solid state drive, Samsung. I got two of them. I thought I saw something here. Oh, Lord. Five hundred gigabytes, uh, two hundred fifty-six, and I got two of them, two 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 hundred fifty-six uh, solid-state drives by Samsung. It's like C F. And D, it's like I have three of them. <clears throat> but I can also turn them off if I want, if I don't want to use it. Or I can leave it in the background just for the windows. Hold on, here we go. Nazca lines, there's something here. Some interesting stuff here. I also, yeah, I also have 1.4 terabyte just for this game. I dedicated, I dedicated this computer just for this game. I also dedicated my Shadow 2 terabytes just for this game. Uh, it's ridiculous. Look how some of these mountains are sliced. It's like somebody sliced them to make like a uh, landing or some shit, like a landing airport. Look at this, how sliced they are. It's crazy. Hold on. I think it's over here. It's 
such an interesting place, man. It's like you're on a different planet, no, for real. Yes, I got a 2 terabyte uh, on a shadow and I got 1.4 terabytes on this computer. <clears throat> Look at this mountain, how sliced nicely it is, almost like an airport. Look at that. That's, that's just crazy, dude. Look at that. It makes no sense. And it's flat. Like you can land on it, like I can land on it right now. It's just so strange, dude. Aliens. It was aliens. It's really dry there, so it's kind of like, um, like Mars. Mars is terrible. It's a hundred. It's a hundred and something. It's a two hundred degrees during the day and minus hundred during the night. <laughs> Look at this. This is so strange, man. I think tomorrow we can go to the uh, Prometheus location. You know, where uh, Ridley Scott filmed the Prometheus, where they landed uh, the Prometheus ship. We can go exactly to the same location. I think it's in Jordan somewhere. Imagine being lost here, holy fuck. Just think about being lost here. Perhaps, maybe, now, is it possible that hundreds of thousands of kilometers were created by aliens from another dimension, from another star system? The ancient aliens say, yes. <laughs> Is it possible that the toilet seat was first invented by the first extraterrestrial race? The ancient alien astronaut theorists say, yes. <laughs> there you go. Look at these lines. Look at this. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look at this shit. looks like a devil it looks like devil wrote this shit here hold on look at these things what is this these lines what, what do they mean it looks like a guy it looks like a George Washington it looks like a George Washington or red coat what the fuck what the fuck is this shit? That looks like a cat with two eyes. <laughs> what is this shit, bro? That looks like a dog. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Atakem skeleton? No. Let's go further south. I think it's a little bit further south. There's some more stuff. Let me see. Is there like a... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Dr. Steven Greer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Steven Greer, Greer found it. That's an alien, man. It's a baby alien. Poor baby alien, man. So, so sad for him. <clears throat> it's a baby alien, dude. That's what it is. From Rita's Reticuli. Orion's Belt. They came here... They were looking for gold or some shit. They were trying to harvest some shit and they left a bunch of... Uh... Bunch of symbols, you know? Alright, let's go down, let's go down. A little bit closer. Ooh, it's raining over here. I see something. There's oh, there it is. There's something written here. Hold on. The hell is that? The fuck is that? My bad, I thought I saw something. Oh my god, we're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. It is far out, man. It's definitely far out. Getting lost up there is not fun. I don't even see any roads. Like, dude, you can't... You gotta fly. You can't drive. There's, where, where are you gonna drive down here? You just gotta fly, dude. Hold on a second.
Hold on. Just give me a second here. I just gotta check. I just gotta check something really quick. Hold on. Man, that's interesting. Hold on. Ask a line. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I was going the wrong direction. It's south. Damn it. I was going east, but it's south. I was, I was about to say. It's almost... Dude, the Peru looks like California. Really, it looks like a California, like a Southern California. Nazca lines, it's like Los Angeles. Really, it looks like a map of Los Angeles. Um, hold on. I want to get the uh, location. So it's Maria. Maria Air. Uh, hold on, I got it. Let me go to the map. Sorry about that, guys. Where it says Maria. Right here, where it says Maria, Maria, Maria. Mariano, no, no, it has to say Maria, Maria. It's gotta be. I think it's here. Sorry about that, guys. Why isn't that showing Maria Airport? What the hell? Hold on. Peninsula. Hold on. So let me see some. Peninsula de Pacasa.
Hold on. Where is Maria? Maria? I don't know. Maria? 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 Hold on. Aerodrome. Oh, it's Dromo, Aerodromo. Is this it? No, it's this one in Spain. What the? F Damn you, Bing. It's not listed. So I have to figure this out on my own. How dare you? How dare you? So this is Peninsula right here. So there's a little island there. And we come here. And yes, I got you, you bastard. So now, sorry about this, guys. I just want to make sure we see it, you know. Nazca province. Look at the satellite. Just hang, just hang in there for me, guys. Don't worry. Just want to get the, uh, or I want to, I want to orient myself so I know exactly where to look. Just hang in there, hang in there, fellas. Oh my God. Hold on. Okay, so we take off and we go east. It should be should be right here. This is going to be good. I know you guys are probably wondering, like, what the hell is he doing? But trust me, it'll be good. If we're going to do it, we got to do it right. <sighs> if we're going to do it, it's true. Hold on.
Don't worry, we'll find it. But do you think that it's going to scan that the... Um, do you think, guys, that uh, the satellite's going to reproduce the same uh, symbols there? It should be able to show us the same symbols, right? The mysterious, the mis the mystery of Peru. Hold on, here we go. Uh, it should so sh like the spider, the the spider, and what else we got? The the eagle. Um. All right, we're gonna do this, guys. We gotta do this, man. Before we end this live stream, it has to be done. And the guy, the astronaut guy. Fuck, man. I hope I can. I'm gonna do my best to find this, guys. I got this map here. Hold on, guys. Just give me a second. I'll explain everything. Just give me a second, guys. Hold on. So it's in this area, like in this area right here so I gotta go east east north south a little bit of east north south like around this area here all right let's go sorry about that guys it's just dumb I want to get this right oh those are the coordinations yeah I can copy and paste now I'll type it in though. Just leave it there. Let me type it in. I think I got it. I think I know where it is. Hummingbird. Yeah, it's a hummingbird. And then there's the uh there's the the guy that's dressed like an astronaut. Uh there's a spider. Tower flight design alpha Sierra X-ray golf Sierra at runway 25 ready for takeoff straight out departure. Here we go. Flight design alpha Sierra X-ray golf Sierra cleared for takeoff runway 25 straight out departure approved. Hold on. Wait, we're going to change the weather. Uh, you guys don't mind if I change the weather cuz I want to see it during the during the day. Uh Here we go. That'll do it. <laughs> Here we go. This is it, fellas. Uh-oh. No! It broke. Nah, this computer's made of steel. It's created by Superman. It has kryptonite in there. It's a kryptonite thermal take. Here we go. Sorry about that. I apologize. My apologies. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I got I got it. Honestly, I know right now exactly where, where to look. And it's going to be this way. Hold on. A little bit to the east. Hold on. Let me open up the map. Where is the map? The map's right here.
Alright. Now it's this way, this way. So it's Cusco is this way. Cusco, hold on. Nazca Cusco. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Avacuco, Avacuco. He's going to be here. Hold on, let's make the clear skies, guys. We need a... We need... Here we go, clear skies, clear skies. Yes, sir. We got this, don't worry. This should be good. No worries. No worries. We got this. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if this airplane is uh, the fastest airplane, but obviously it's not. But uh, it's better than better than nothing. Hold on.
it's kind of interesting. I tell you what, it's kind of fascinating to uh, to look for these things around the world, and I think that's what makes this game so so fascinating to travel to to look for these uh, certain spots on the planet, and um, you get to do that with this game. That's pretty unique. This way I have much better view, like this way. This is so interesting. I'm glad you guys are sticking around, man. This is this is interesting to see if we can find it, if we can I think this airplane is perfect for sightseeing if you want to go out sightseeing this one right here it's perfect for it it is a very slow airplane uh, and it will not endure like a high strong winds with rain and storm but it will definitely be a perfect airplane for sightseeing I'm gonna go like this just in case I miss something. It's a little bit south, just a slightly little bit south. Thank you, Gucci. You can see the cars down below. Look. Dude, Peru looks exactly like California map. Seriously. Alright. I think it's over here. Now we're gonna go east, east, east. It has to be here, it has no choice. East of us.
I think this is probably a road that takes you to the Nazca lines. <clears throat> Oh yeah, for sure. A pretty good actually gas mileage. Not bad. It's just not good for the turbulence. If there's a strong wind, then it kind of sucks. But let me see if I can climb a higher altitude a little bit. make sure I don't miss anything The hunt for the Nazca lines. <laughs> In the middle. So basically I have to go in that blue line, right?
the middle. That would be like over here, right? You mean like in this uh, in this blue line, like right here? I think it's gotta be on that desert, like Nazca Desert. I don't think it's gonna be this far out. It has to be here on the Nazca Desert. It has to be. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's gotta be here in the middle. You're right. I should have listened to, uh, I should have watched the Georgia Sokakalis. Should have watched Giorgio Sakakala's video. <laughs> Look at the cars, you can see the cars down below. So it's a Nazca desert, desert lines. Uh -huh. Once I know where it is, here's a good thing about this game. It has a uh, flying vlog and it knows exactly where you visited. It's almost like you're leaving cookie trails. So it knows exactly where you've been and it's going to memorize exactly the location that you visited. South southeast of Lima. So southeast of Lima is gonna be this way. So it's gotta be right here. Southeast, southeast. So it's gotta be around here. So in this line, so I got to stay within this line. So right here, so 200 miles of Lima. So from here to there, right here, I got you. Oh, we're gonna find it on the flat ground yeah 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 you're right The fuel um, efficiency is so good on this one. 
on this airplane. Nice. Uh, you've been to Alaska lines, right? But you only can see it from an airplane, right? You have to like, you got to go on an airplane to see it. Oh, never to Nazca lines. I think what's his name? Well, you have to see it from an airplane. Um, here we go. I think I found it. There it is, guys. Right here. I think this is it. I see something. No, 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 don't go now. No, 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 it's not. I thought I, I saw something. It's not. My bad, my bad. It has to be a spider. It has to be a spider in the middle right here. Spider, the astronaut, and uh, what else? Symbol of uh, eagle. Eagle or some, or some kind of a bird. So it's right here, I guess. Right here in the middle. I think we're getting closer. Just in case, keep it like this, just so I can see. They are tricky, man. Like, you think you see something, but you realize, nope, that's not it. Or like, what is this? Nope, nope. I see something here, hold on. I see some lines, hold on. I see something. Over there.
I don't blame them. I mean, I would think that too, bro. Uh, <laughs> I would honestly would think that too. I mean, it's a very magical place. I think it's here, man. It's got to be here. This side. It has to be here. It has no chance. It's got to be here. Oh, wait, I see something here. Hold on. What is this? Fuck. So tricky, these lines. Oh, my God. I swear to God. It is tricky. You think you saw something. It's like, ah. No, you didn't. Man, tricks me so much. Wait, 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 there's something, no? Is there? No, I thought I saw something. Nah, it's not. For a minute, I was like, I thought I saw something. Nope. No, son, you didn't see jack shit. Move this way. I think this way, this is it. Right over here. Woo. Lordy Lord. 10 hours. 10 hours live stream, live stream. Yeah, movie signs. That was a great movie, by the way. Dude, we've been flying for 10 hours. 10 hours, dude. I think by now, Phil Spencer should add me as his friend. <laughs> I guarantee you Phil Spencer is playing this. I'm guaranteeing you. Hey, is that a mountain? That mountain that's sliced? Hey, here we go. Here we go. I found it. There it is. There is the astronaut. That astronaut. I see it. There he is. Yes, yes, yes. I got you now. The astronaut with the eyes, helmet, uh, humanoid. You'll see. I found him. I found you. I think this is it, bro. I think I found him. I gotta go a little higher altitude, but I think I found it. How much of a higher altitude do I have to go? I think this is it, dude. I think this is it. Keep an eye on this shit now. Keep watching. I think I found it. At least I know where it is now. I can memorize it. Ah, no, it's not, dude. It tricked me. <gasps> this shit tricks so much, dude. It tricked me. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting closer. That's the sliced mountain. The sliced mountain right here. Look how it's sliced. Alright, keep an eye on this shit. It's gotta be here. <laughs> I know. On his NASA computer. NASCA lines, dude. This is ancient aliens. Hold on. My goodness. This is so tricky. So tricky. Why so tricky? Good Lord, why so tricky? Good Lord in heavens.
Wait, there's something over there. Wait. I don't know how they find these lines. Probably satellite imagery. What is this over here? Hold on. God damn it. You guys are tricking me. I mean, the satellite imagery is tr tricking me. Nah. This way, this way. Here we go. This is it. Maybe, maybe I get lucky here. Oh God! No, it's got to be southeast. You're right, southeast. Southeast. What is this? What the hell is this? This right here. What is this? Looks like a lizard. It looks like a goddamn lizard. What is what the fuck? They're so tricky. These Nazca lines, dude. Jeez. Oh, here we go. There's something here. I see something. Hold up, hold up. What is this? No. Tricked me again. They're tricking me so badly, man. It's not even funny anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna go join uh, I'm gonna follow him. Georgius Akakalis. Uh, Georgius Akakalis. Where in the name of the Zeus's butthole are <laughs> the Nazca Lions? I'm gonna I'm gonna follow him on Twitter. Wait, I got I think I might have something here. Hold on. Somebody go to a Twitter of uh, Giorgio Sokakalis. Hey Giorgio, where in the bloody hell did you see the spider? I wanna see the spider. I know. I know it's here. It's got to be here somewhere. I'm going to have to go and ask Giorgio Sokakalis on Twitter. I'll send him a message on Twitter. Say, hey, dude. Where is the spider? Where is the, uh, the, the cosmonaut? The spaceman? Where is the spaceman? Where is the... Um, where is the eagle? The bird. Oh my god. And here's the thing, you can only see this from the sky. Hey look, what is this? Triangle? Okay. My god. Is it possible that those lines are not scanned by satellite? They're forbidden or something? Is that is that possible? I don't know, it could be. Alright, this is it. It has to be this. 
If, if it's not here, then I, it's, it's nowhere. Ten hours, oh my god. This airplane has a great capacity, like you said, uh, Rendell. Fuel efficiency. Alright, Mamba Man, thank you for uh, joining. Thank you for coming back. And uh, I'm glad you, you were here with me. What is this? Hold on. I see something here. Something very interesting here. What the fuck is that? I'm being tricked again. Is this the spaceman? Hold on. Dude, I'm getting tricked again. No, it's not. I thought he was, but it's not. Now, this is my only last solution is right here. It's got to be here. That sliced mountain. They're saying if you see a sliced mountain from the top, it has to be it. I just want to remember where it is, man. So I never have to look for it ever again. has to be here, man. Okay, so I guess it's not being rendered. All right. Oh, there's something over here. Hold on. Hold on a second. Um, Randall, I think I might I might spot something over here. Hold on. I think I see something here. I think I see something here. See, like right over here. Let me show you. Nah, nothing there. Shit. Tricked me again.
Hold on. The fuel efficiency of this plane, it's unbelievable, guys. It was worth $120 just for this plane. <laughs> Yeah, you think by now something would have popped, something would have showed up. Nothing is showing up, right? I mean, I don't think it's scanned uh, properly through satellite. I think they're going to do that in the future. They're going to properly scan it. I mean, by now, right, we would have seen something. I mean, Jesus, at least one. There's so many of them out there. At least one. We would have seen Spider-Man. I mean, Spider. <laughs> spider. There's a spider. There's a spaceman. There's a bird. Uh, and uh, there's something else I forgot. You think we would have bumped into it by now, dude? You know what I mean? Oh, well, thank. Well, thank you, Randall. I did this for you, bro. Sorry that I couldn't find it, but uh, it was still great. It was still awesome enjoyment flying this. By the way, Peru is beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. Iceland. That's something I want to go next. Iceland tomorrow. Uh, Iceland is beautiful. Next, you know, Iceland is beautiful too. But uh, Peru is like a very magnificent country. Look at it, man. How beautiful it looks it's almost like a different planet oh they're updating the maps okay so we'll probably see it in the future yeah let me see if I can successfully land on Nazca lines hold on let's land If I can't find the Nazca lines, I'm going to land. At least. Middle of nowhere, I'm going to land. Right here. There we go. Right here, dude. This is it. I'm gonna land right here. We're landing on an... Oh, what is this? Hold on. I'm gonna create my own Nazca lines, too. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna land like my life. We're gonna land properly. We're gonna do it right here. Right middle of these uh, mountains and get a great view. I'm gonna wait for the aliens to pick us up. Here we go. This is it right here. I crashed. I crashed like my life depended. I crashed like my life didn't depend on it. <laughs> oh shit. Well guys, it's been it's been a blast, honestly. 8 hours, it's been a blast. 
I really uh, thank you all for joining in, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for donating. I really appreciate that. We got some new members. We got some new subscribers. Thank you all, man. This is awesome. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do Iceland. We're gonna do some multiplayer with uh, with me and uh, with Mamba. We're gonna fly together. But definitely, I want to see the Iceland. I want to. Fl Iceland is beautiful, man. Uh, I want to go up there, and uh, we're gonna also have to catch up with some other video games, man. We got uh, Madden 21. We got PGA Tour. We still got Pliskin, um, Russell, UFC 4. But the reason I've been doing this is because I've been four days trying to get this game to download you know thank you jc i really did i really tried i did my best i even flew from peru uh looking for them i mean from uh not uh, what you call it uh maca Picchu, from Picchu. Uh, i flew from Picchu to nazca trying to look for them i'm sorry and i and i crashed i couldn't find it but um yeah thank you Cameron thank you for being here thank you all it's been a blast Chicago looked amazing um, where else we've been Chicago Egypt Cairo I mean look just super realistic the pyramids just super realistic uh, I need to land next to the pyramids tomorrow like for real like I need to land with this airplane slowly and take a good look at him uh, we went to Japan Tokyo look nice Fuji uh, I know Derek maybe tomorrow we can land on Fuji properly um, I would like to see some helicopters maybe in the future we'll have some helicopters that'd be great um, so we had a great time man. we went we still got a long way to go man we got africa to go to africa we got morocco we got well that's in africa we got great china wall we got russia alaska canada british columbia uh alberta i mean there's tons of tons of places to go we haven't gone to los angeles at all so there's plenty of places to go caribbean yes caribbean we gotta do caribbean's beautiful so there's tons of places to go. Thank you as always. Ten hours has been it's been a blast. It's been great. Yeah. And this is your Captain Adidas speaking. And till tomorrow. You all have a good morning, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>